Hey, hey, how's everyone doing? Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> you can see, you saw where I recorded that little singing thing I did. <laughs> anyway, how is everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> I'm doing good. Tired? Why not I? <laughs> I slept. Eh. Okay, somewhat. Last night. Uh, hope everyone's doing good today. Um, I'm gonna be st I'm gonna be checking out Boyfriend Dungeon. Oh, God. <laughs> my model really does not like it when I'm wearing my um glasses. It just sucks. I want to wear my glasses. I want to be able to see. <laughs> Let me see. Without looking derpy! Like, I just look derpy! <laughs> there we go, I think that's slightly better. Ah, as good as it's gonna get if I wanna wear my glasses. So, I heard. Just hope things don't go messy like this. <laughs> uh, can't really fix it. Uh, anyway, shall we head in game? Okay, let's head in game then. So. There we are. Boyfriend dungeon. I, I remember to click in game. Here we are. So, shall we? We'll start a new game because thing. So, here we go. This game may include references of two unwanted advances, stalking, and other forms of emotional manipulation. Play with care. Oh dear. Well, we've been warned. <laughs> what music? Let's change them. I am. Um... Yeah. Mary. Hehe. <laughs> okay. She, her. Brown. So, how? What eyes we got? Brown. Heavy. Sleepy. Smiling. Tough. Brown. Sleepy. <laughs> we'll go sleepy because I. Thing. Wavy. Kinky. Short. Buzz cut. Bowl cut. Curly. Long, hunk, bun, spiky. We'll go wavy with the wavy blue hair. Yeah. Yep, and we'll continue on. This game sometimes sends you mess about mess text messages from a character named Mom. Is that okay? Sure. Final boarding call for Verona Beach. All passengers, please board immediately. <laughs> Your thing. <laughs> fun fun, we're going to Verona Beach then, I guess. Interesting cutscenes. <laughs> it reminds me of something, but I can't put my mind on it. Cat Cafe! Cat Cafe! <sighs> and this is... Hey, welcome to Verona Beach, cuz! It's me, Jesse! It's been a long ten years, huh? Your mom said you'd grown up, but I had no idea! You're so much taller! Uh, do we go thanks? Are you hitting on me? <laughs> or who are you again? Um, I guess, Sorry, huh? I just remember you as a little kid. <laughs> Cousin problems. I was in college, and you were like in the fifth grade or something. Back before California. Doesn't matter. Come on, I'll show you your room for the summer. It's upstairs. You can stay here till my lease runs out in September. 
I moved down to live with my partners last month. So you get rent, free rent. Oh my, free rent. <laughs> Plus you had the, uh, the whole summer to solve your little problem. Excuse me? You haven't said you haven't gone on a date. Like, not in your whole life. It's not a big deal, but I'll do all I can to help you. It'll be a summer full of love. <laughs> oh god. Or if you prefer, a summer of totally platonic friendly hangouts. Those are good too. I'm not a pickup artist, but I'm pretty sure but pretty sure I can teach you something about meeting people. As long as you're willing to be a little adventurous, you've come to the right place. Verona Beach is the town for lovers, so it's best to keep your eyes and mind open. I won't guarantee you'll fall in love, but a date should be hard too hard to arrange. So, what do you think about the main problem of love is? Uh Nobody appreciates me, I'm cursed or I'm ugly. Maybe mm. possible. That's the kind of thing that a joke would say, just so you know. Oh. Oh dear. First step in love is finding someone with similar interests and talking to them. Uh -huh. Let's get you some confidence. There's a fitness fad uh, no fitness fad in Verona. Perfect meeting people and facing your fears. You have to open you have to have an open mind though. Are you ready? It's Dungeons. Uh, uh not sex dungeons. <laughs> Don't they all some parallels? Uh never mind. Don't think about that. You know, dungeons from like video games or D&D? Like that, but in real life. There's been more monster infestations lately, so people kill them for money. It's great for building confidence and also getting a workout. Plus... Wait, uh, hey, I want to ask, can you turn into a weapon? Let me try. You squeeze your eyes tight and imagine you turn into a sword, long and sharp. Open your eyes to see if it worked. Nope, your hands are still there. Same as all, same old you. Ah, uh, don't look so sad, cause you can't do it, right? Me neither. Guess it doesn't run in family. Transforming's big in Verona Beach. Around here, people like us call us wielders. Uh, I call wielders. At least around the weapon folks, uh, you'll do great. Especially after you get a combat lesson from a sworn friend of mine. I arranged one for this afternoon. <laughs> you feel your heart start thump heavily. Meeting someone already? Jesse's eyes widen and shakes his head. <laughs> Stop! Take a deep breath. It's not a date. It's a lesson. He's a straight edge, bit of a straight edge anyway. Remember, wielding isn't romantic. Perfectly platonic friends can wield each other, okay? The important thing is that you're stronger together. So, whenever you're ready, get out there and go to the mall. Why the mall? Dungeons are apparently about facing your fears. I don't really know. Ask Isaac. He'll be waiting inside. He's a fencing te teacher and a perfect professional. In the meantime, I'll set you up on a proper date. Always check your text messages. <laughs> Jesse goes to leave and puts it. Ah, I forgot to give you a little tour of the apartment. But this is sort of all there is. All yours. I have ideas on how you could use the shelves and desks, but we'll talk about after you've settled in. Feel free to use the mirror anytime if you want to try some new looks. No pressure. See ya, cuz. Jesse leaves. Oh, fun. <laughs> Hey, it's Jesse. Now you have my number. Don't forget to meet Isaac at the mall. Also, I just saw in the news that there's a weapon thief out there. Weapon people are going missing. Stay safe. Oh dear. Designs currently unavailable. So it's crafting and then there's the mirror. Ooh. <gasps> uh, let's see. Blue. Pink. It has pockets! <laughs> Go keep the new dress. Bucket hat. Head scar. Turban. And no. There we go. Let's leave. <laughs> fun fun! I sort of run around. Uh, there's the mole. Dunge! <laughs> Be careful, it's dangerous. Interesting. Run them all. Dungeon fear under unidentified. All one. Circle stuffy. Ooh. Boyfriend dungeon. You find a long, thin blade. The hilt fits nicely into your grip. A man's voice vibrates from the metal and up for your hand, making you jump. You must be Jesse's friend. Hi, I'm Isaac. Isaac, the sword. Uh, the pleasure to meet you, Isaac. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. 
But I am indeed in a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Ooh, Your fun. hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. Now, if you take a look around, you'll see we're in a mall. A dunge is a place you can confront your insecurities. Here, your own psychology will create monsters to fight. I chose the mall because most people have fears that easily manifest here. It depends on the person. Strangers, inadequacy, sterility, poverty. Everyone's afraid of something. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's see if we can find any monsters to fight. Nice. Square is stab, 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 stab. And triangles, heavy attack, and circle is dodge. Okay. It's a walking, f it's a moving phone! <laughs> Nicely done. Your form is rough, but you still have strong potential. You're not bad either. 20 years of practice and have. I'd better have something to show for it. <laughs> Let's talk about that monster. It came from inside your mind. When I first died to go into Dunder Shwila, I fought lots of trucks. Trucks? <laughs> yes, trucks. Judge it is. I don't even hate trucks. And yet, they manifested. There were monsters, pickup trucks, dump trucks, even cement grinders. It's because I had some issues and about our masculinity and boyhood. Probably from my father. Eventually, I worked through that and killed a boss monster truck. It felt good. My point is that your phone monster could mean a few things. Maybe you fear connections to other people's and intimacy? Mm. Maybe you feel helplessness, crawling like a worm the way they did. We'll figure out how the deeper we go exploring the dungeon. How does Zeepers go? Zeepers your own insecurities, so in a way, it's up to you. Just go as deep as we can to go. If we get too tired and collapse, that's okay. We'll still f get to keep any treasure mm. we find. To avoid fainting, look for beverages. Tea, coffee, that sort of thing. Keep your spirits up. You can hold up to three at a time, use them when you need them. One last observation, you can use the power of zines in combat. Press the zine button to use your dragon zines. Dragon zine and breathe fire. Maybe that you can find a new zine. Or maybe even... Um, make your own. Be sure not to always rely on them though, that's their use right. is limited. To be brave, and let's fight together, best, as best we can. Together, we can overcome everything, anything. Ooh, fun. Ooh, found sugar, the basis for food. And wire. I'm getting text messages. Ah, from mum. <laughs> I already miss you. Verona Beach is a big city. It can be dangerous. Always oh, send to your cousin Jesse and watch out for pickpockets. Are you okay? Did you find the apartment? I'm fine, Mom. Oh, good. Then you got okay? Love you, sweetie. <laughs> Love you, too. <laughs> Be good. Okay, so. Continue. Don't forget to use my design to fight the monsters. I don't want to use the design right now. Hmm, what's that? There's a sword. Ah, there's a sword. How did they get here? The hill is cool, almost cold to the touch. But it quickly warms under your hand. The blade begins to transform. Well, hello, you two. Name's Sunder. Isaac Brooks. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak, chanting. Hmm. And now I'm all dinged up. I must oh, have dear. made someone really angry if they abducted me and chipped me, whoever they are. But my luck is turning around because here you are. I didn't think anyone like you would be in the dunge. Who? <laughs> yeah, Me? you. I'm not talking to the monsters, that's for sure. There were other options. Oh, if you're into it. 
Maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? Maybe I'm together sure. we can figure out how I got down here. I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? Oh, I'm glad you're okay. I'm tougher than I look. Older too, but that's a story for another day. Now I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. I'll text you. Damaged blade saunters away, seeming almost to dance. Hmm. He was knocked out, damaged, and imprisoned here? Weapon forms heal quickly, as they are made from our spirits more than our bodies. Still, this is serious. I'll report our findings to the authorities. I hope the abductor can be caught. That's a bit worrying. Let's keep our eye out for any other victims as we explore the dungeon. Oh! So it's other button to heal. Ooh, goodness me. Ooh, why are there so many? There's so many enemies. <laughs> That was so many enemies. We can go down. Isaac the Estoc. Do light attacks and roll. Let's do a combat together. Let's try light attack, light attack, heavy attack. Oh, and I died. Seen a lot of enemies. And how to level. level two! Woo! Oh dear. Beep! You feel the paramedics directly bringing you to the surface. And back to consciousness. You're bone tired, but otherwise unharmed. You realize you're still holding, holding a and sword. That concludes our first lesson. Would you mind releasing me? Not you're sorry. At all. A blade begins to transform. <laughs> These cutscenes are very cheesy. <laughs> very cheesy cutscenes. <laughs> it was a pleasure to train with you. Thank you. But I must get back to work. If I may say, your fencing style is rough. But has unusual potential. If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. We still have no leads on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. Fun. So feel free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. Until next time, then. Small with a small bow, he re well, small bow, he reads he strides away. There we go. I can't read! <laughs> Beautiful dungeons. Oh, I'll provide equipment in my office. Brooks Associates, if you wish. Sincerely, Isaac. Let's train. Looking forward to it. Ooh. And Jesse, make it to the dungeon. Report in, soldier. <laughs> you didn't tell me he was hot! <laughs> uh, mission complete, sir. So, oh, how'd it go? Wait, don't talk answer that. It's a talking person. Okay. I'll be right over. Ooh. A few minutes later. Hey, cuz. I heard you uh picked up Isaac. And he says you're a natural. We found Whoa, another sword two too. Swords in one day. What are the odds? Anyway, I'm glad it worked out. 
Isaac says you might be afraid of technology or change. Either way, I'll trust your work. To, your work on it together. Even if you're not into him, it's good practice being normal alone with handsome stranger. <laughs> yeah, of course. In case you know, you might uh, get nervous at all the uh, idea of dating. That's a good idea. You realise you do doing feel a bit more relaxed about the idea of a first date. Jesse squints at you. Uh. Nerves, are that, uh, nerves are that bad, huh? At least you gained a bit of confidence. Well, lucky you. I'm with high school, the guy that runs a sword shop. And he's single. At least that's what Eric's uh, online profile says. And I haven't seen him in person, uh, in person in years. I'm the only guy in town who, who knows more about swords than Isaac. But I got his number. Jesse pokes his phone. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. He's free for coffee tomorrow. Are you in? Let's do it. That's the spirit. It's mostly practice day anyway. Tomorrow morning, 11am, he'll be at Kicks. The cafe just down the street. Remember, it's just coffee. Talk about dungeons. Get to know him. This summer won't last forever. You gotta meet new people sometime. It's nice role play. So as pra some practice. I'll be Eric, no pressure. Just try it out. <laughs> okay, you just entered the cafe. I'm Eric. I'm sitting here waiting for you. What do you say? Hey! You try to say hi, but your curat catches you in your throat and start coughing. Hmm, maybe you're gonna try in a mirror tonight. Maybe you more work than I thought. That's okay. <laughs> You'll do fine. Practice makes perfect. Good luck uh, tomorrow, cuz. Oh dear, Jesse leaves. A few extra hours, how do you spend the evening? Investigate cafe, browse your net, go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Wander around the blocks for a few. Unlock the of it nearby. Sure, let's go in. He just intrigues you. You stand and listen for a while. No, so women kept watching you from the VIP station, but you're too shy to talk to her. Eventually, you head home and go to bed. You wake up paralyzed and with deep, inexplicable fear. Today will be your first date. For the rest of your life? What if... I'm not even sure if you're what you're afraid of. But it feels like you can't breathe. Um, let's count to ten. You, can't, you slowly count, focusing your thoughts. One, two, three... Eventually, you feel a bit better. You get up and walk down to the coffee shop. Welcome to Kicks. Hmm. I think the man in the corner is waiting for you. Look around and see someone waving at you. Hey, you're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. Now tell me everything you know about swords. Do you prefer one or two-handed? Uh, let's see, one-handed? I sometimes like the speed of one-handed weapons. But it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. Marcus is high as for flavory. Jesse said you're a dungeon crawling type. So I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon. I already found one. Found one on the street. You can't be that ah. kid. Oh, you mean a person who becomes a weapon? Nah, that's not really for me. Tell it quickly if you're into it. My shop sells only pure steel. Some imported, some made on site. Maybe I could give you a discount to fellow enthusiast. It would give my blades a good home. Hmm. Seems like you're the kind of woman who appreciates fine craftsman's things. Thanks? As a smith, I have an eye for it too. I take raw, dirty hunks of metal and with finesse, strength finesse and strength turn them into art. Well, I'll try anyway. I'm still learning. Video tutorials can only teach you so much, you know? Maybe someday. I'll make something beautiful enough for you to wield. For now, here's a gift for a fellow craftswoman. Maybe you can do something with these. Plastic Modern Miracle. Bracelets recipe. I think you could make something out of this stuff. Woo! Anyway, I should be getting back to the shop. Wanna go on a proper date sometime? Maybe I need a uh, more frivolity in life. I'd enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Cherry redeems first! Hey hey Cherry! Excellent. If you need a weapon, maybe I'll see you again soon. Anyway, ciao! Eric leaves. You head home. Hey, hey! Crafting? Oh, yeah. Bracelets! Fine. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> you went on a date, sort of. How'd it go? Sure, let's go with the top one. Wait, really? I mean, I'm happy here, but you still have most of the summer left. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're more familiar, more people with what you propose. Now you're infinitely more date experience than you were yesterday. Plus, 
I'll find you another date venture soon. Want to date weapons? <laughs> what about Isaac? What about Eric? Let's go weapons. <laughs> How are you, Cherry? I'll see what I do, but I promise your mum will help you after all. So I'm going to find someone nice. Chill and dodge for now. Or use the craft table that left in the, apartment, in the apartment. You can craft supplies, clothes, and other stuff from shops around town too. I'll let you know when your next date is up. Not too bad? Ah, oh, fair enough. I'm okay. A bit tired like usual. When I know. <laughs> let me cut and then sort of like dancing. Yeah? <laughs> True, yeah. It's comes from my club, La Rosa. VIP. Sure, I'll be there. Cool, me too. <laughs> Tell the fancy over me. Ooh, fun fun. <laughs> I'll try, but I suck. Got zines, which is the thing. Oh. Buzz buzz. Anyway, let's leave. <laughs> so, I find it. I find this little thing weird. Books associates, and La Rosa. <laughs> like it's a very neat uh, thing. Champion Afflesure. Welcome. Let's see. I can buy fabric and other stuff. And clothes. Cool. And then El, Gren El Granero. El Granero. El Granero. It's a remarkably unhistoric ticket machine. Oh gosh, they're expensive! The United you know, Lost Bank like visiting lakes this summer. Fun! Ah, there's a, there's a roadblock there. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's go La Rosa, let's see. <laughs> hmm? Name, I'm with Sunder. I'm close to Velvet Road and you step inside. Sunder is venting to a woman that's sitting next to him in the VIP mm -hmm. area. <sighs> but I just can't find a real connection, you know? Mm -hmm. Join the club. Without love, what's the point? Hey Mary, do you believe in soulmates? I want to. Sunder has to, aren't you? You wonder if you said something uh -huh. wrong. Me too. I just keep getting so disappointed. I'm not so sure anymore. Ooh. Finish this cause, I need to bleed. Who fun. They make it look so easy in the movies. <sighs> Ramos has been dead at least 500 years. Yeah, so Mary, this uh, Mary, this is Mandy, my business partner. Co-owner of the club. Charmed, I'm sure. What kind of sword do you turn into again? <sighs> oh, she's a wielder. I told her you five times ago. Are you listening at all? What do you say? Nah. You know, never mind. This is a good song. Time mm. to dance. I'm feeling healed from my abduction and dungeoning. What about you? Yeah, let's dance. Yes, tonight we dance. We're gonna die in 50 years. Woo! Uh. Uh. <laughs> what? We are. Oh, whatever. Whatever, idiot. Mandy kisses the bouncer on the cheek as she leads you and Sunder to the dance floor. Sunder mostly sways, sips his drink, but Mandy dances with an abandon. You feel the music something in your chest. Do I play it cool or try some dance moves? Yeah. Let's try some dance moves. Take a chance and put your heart into every motion. Mandy takes an invitation to dance very, very close to you. Sunder smiles and leaves the dance floor in the direction of the bathroom. Mandy leans in, her breath forming in your ear. You should really be careful, little one. Santa eats up lovers barn by one. He seems nice, but he's double-edged. I know you said you're looking for a soulmate, so... Believe me, Sunder, isn't it? He lies. And he's dangerous. Hi, Def Lily. You're here, and you bring the fires of hell. Hehe, <laughs> fun fun. Sunder's using you. Part of it is his addiction, but he's too selfish and violent to be a good boyfriend. I 
have either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in my experience, no matter what they say, people don't change. But I like you. You're sweet. I'm just trying to help. Be careful. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Mandy kisses you on the cheek and leaves. The crowd parts and the sword seems to be dancing its way towards you. Mandy left her. Just the two of us. Let's enjoy this moment while we can. Yeah, I prefer you in human form. As you wish. Better. You dance together late into the night until you're breathless and sweaty. How are you, Death Lily? Eventually, the night is over. You head home. Eric, hey! <laughs> oh dear. We really got in. Jesse introduced us. Me too. You should come by the naked steel sometime. Our sometimes have scintillating curves. Special price for a special lady. What do you say? I'll think about it. Up to you, of course. I'll be waiting and hoping. Honey, I know you've always been afraid of change, and I'm glad you're facing your fears. I believe in you. But Jesse says you're fighting monsters? I hope you'd take a less dangerous career. Like cobra wrestling or wreck driving. I'll be careful, Mum. Good, that's my girl. If something happens to you, I don't know what I'd do. Of course, I'd support you no matter what. But be safe. I will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Aww. Hey, cutie. Sorry if I'm too flirty. You can tell me to back off. But this is how I am. And you're a good dancer. <laughs> you are too. Let's go again sometime. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything I can craft. Yeah. Okay, let's leave. Let's go see Brooks. Let's go to the Brooks Associates see thing. You stopped at Isaac's office by his assistant. Excuse me, do you have an appointment with his group? I think hello, so. Hello. Hey, Mary, you made it. Christine, Mary is always welcome here. Yes, Mr. Brooks. I'm just glad. It's good to see you. I was hoping you'd take me out. Let's take up my offer. Let's begin. Do you prefer foil, saber, or pay? Uh, mm -hmm. foil. So you wish you were more precise and disciplined. Interesting. We shall see. Now, ready yourself. Don't mind the office equipment. I do this all the time. He sh strikes on his fencing gear with practice ease. Now, stand up straight. Stand, st stand straight up with your blade out towards my heart. Turn to regard me from the side of your shoulder and hip. This is our on guard stance. You're quite literally on guard. <laughs> we will begin with basic movement. Looking into my eyes, advance towards me. Foot front number. So, mm. Try lifting your toes first. Don't cross the legs. Now, in fall, you can only score by hitting the torso. In Sabre, upper body. But in dungeons, you don't need to score points with any judges. I suppose that means we should use epee balls. Any hits count. Try a lunge attack then. Extend your front leg with all your weight, keeping your f front foot flat. No, no bent ankle. Lunge forwardly forward, feeling a little <laughs> awkward. Not bad, you have talent. But holding roll lets you counter attack if you use you just before an incoming attack. Go fun. Ooh, looks like we've reached a new level of understanding, so now you can parry with me. The more time we spend together, the better we'll be able to fight together. This means something different for each weapon, but for me, parrying is only a friend's is a friend's only maneuver. To parry in the dungeon, just hold dodge just before the enemy attacks there. It's automatically a counter. That's a special move only you and I can do together, so don't forget. You can also check out our parry in the combo details on your phone later. But for now, shall we take a break? He loosens his glove and removes his fencing jacket. Mm. I'd like it. To, I'd like to keep training with with me. Uh, if you'd like to keep training with me, perhaps we should get to know, get to know each other better. Where are you from? 
Upstate, wine country, or wine country as I call it. Too much wealth up there, not enough sense. Moved here some years ago to form an investment firm and made, an, made a name of myself. How about you? You're a dashing dunge hero now, right? Mm -hmm. What do your parents think about your dangerous profession? Do they approve? I know always supposed me. I'm glad you respect your choices. It's heartening to know that such parents exist. Does your mother adopt? <laughs> Isaac falls silent for a moment thoughtful. Mm -hmm. I do prefer life on the straight and narrow. There's a knock on the door. One minute, please. Isaac, what are you doing? Who is this? Shouldn't you be working? <sighs> I said one minute, please. You can wait in the lobby. So you're just going to keep a guest waiting while you faff about? Mm -hmm. Vincent, you're 20 minutes early for our appointment. So I have some priority in, in the life of my only child. Pleasure to meet you, Miss. I'm sure. Meeting me is probably the highlight of your week. Mm -hmm. I'm totally sorry, Mary. It seems I am occupied. I'll text you to set up our next appointment. Or texting now? What's the next in your slumming schedule? Do you drink water from plastic bottles too? Horrifying. Are well, there any depths you won't stoop to? You slap out the door. I'm gonna leave. I head home. Best not to best not to eavesdrop, right? Just she said she went on a date? I better treat you well. You only deserve the best, you know. <laughs> Mom, stop! <laughs> sorry, sorry. I let you do your thing, but they hurt you. Too. Tell me, well, we'll take care of it. Oh goodness me! <laughs> nice. Yeah, that that does sound like a uh, my mermaid mother. Yes. <laughs> mermaid mothers are my mermaid mother is quite brutal. <laughs> it's crazy, Jesse has a cousin like you. He's a loser. All was in high school. No offense. That's mean. Just being honest. I'll see you later, Holly. I'll talk to you later. Yep. Sorry, I interrupted. But do you care for business talk? Eh, I don't mind it. Perhaps I'll advise you when I'm next audited. Then I'm not a fan of myself. Maybe I'll explain how I got into this someday. There you up. Uh huh. Yeah. I was just feeling extra sharp today. <laughs> Peace, or it didn't happen. <laughs> A plus. <laughs> I want to say I'm blushing, but it's more than that. Maybe I'll show you some. Show you more sometime. See you in the dungeon. Okay, let's leave. Let's... Uh, let's go to the dungeon. And we'll go with Isaac. I'm starting to think this mall signifies change. For you. Oh dear me, that was a bit disastrous. Okay, continue on. One point for the monsters. Focus. My oh, battery is with means of conquering, conquering your fears. Let's just break these box thing boxes and all that. Oh goodness me! But yeah, you can tell that I'm not that great at this game. <laughs> okay, we're going downstairs. Corona more or two. Hey, 
There we go. Get some more stuffs. Rolly roll roll. Okay, so we're heading this way. Which... Ooh, there's a weapon here. The hilt is wrapped in several layers of leather. And double-edged blade is chipped. What the hell? Could you not just, like, grab me without warning? Oh dear. I know tradition is all choose your weapon, but... Consent is important. No, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry too. I didn't mean to snap. I just I'm not sure what's going on. I was out at night as you do, and then, bam! I'm here. My blade hurts. Monsters everywhere. I'm Valeria. Nice to meet you. Sort of. You're abducted. I guess so, and damaged too. Normally, I'd switch to human form around now, to be polite, but I don't know you. I'm still recovering from whatever just happened. I'd rather play it safe. And I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. Yeah, fair enough. I can take care of myself, mostly. Have we done this before? No? Uh, are you sure you're not thinking of when you watched it with Jen? I could use some extra cash though, so... I'll keep in touch. Ciao, for now. <laughs> you know when you're watching with Jen? Yeah, there's this way and then there's up here. You're so confused. Hugs. Ooh, I can hear what's in here. Everything has a purpose. Little jacket recipe. Fun. But, no, we haven't. We haven't even... I don't think we've met her yet. Yeah. Cherry. Cherry, this is the first time I'm playing this game. You're probably thinking Jen. When you watch Jen. It's alright to let you guard down now and then. Mm mm. I couldn't possibly. I don't know what it's about. I don't know anything about these kinds of games. I wasn't allowed to th near them as a child, and these days I don't have the time. Mm -hmm. I'll watch you though. They look quite exciting. What do you want to play? Street Puncher, Chronosite Pinball, Dog Walker. Chronosite? Uh... So many blinking lights. They room around. Get extra points for spelling betrayal. It was Jen, yeah. Eventually you ran out of tokens. <laughs> This game so surely a waste of time, but I'm glad you had fun. Would you like to offer a gift? Sure. Nope, he doesn't like him. I do have a knife, it's all the same to you, it suits you better. Back to it, shall we? I found glass and more plastic. I scared you, oh dear. Sorry, did I, uh, was I too loud? Hugs. Oh, being disoriented like that. There. Whew. Yeah, hugs and kisses. Well done to both of us, I'd say. Ooh. Um, here we go. And downstairs we go. So I can change to... Yeah. 
I can change weapon to the other person, but yeah, no. Hey, Pats. Sorry, I missed it. There you go, there's the headpats again. Try and redeem myself. <laughs> You're the cutie! Bollocks! Dear me. That's on fire. Okay. That is. The monsters can go through doors? Okay. Yeah, the monsters can go through walls. Ah, uh, you! Ooh, we got glass here. Maybe you two. Okay. And then this way. Bed machine offers several choices. Bubble tea, sugar, or question mark. I don't need the tea, I don't think. Sugar? Uh, let's go question mark. Push button to feel rumbling beneath your feet. Hole opens where the machine used to be. Very mysterious. Climb down into the darkness. Ooh. Find a monster. The monster shop. Save up money from dungeon. Stop to getting defeated by the likes of you. There are humans down here now. Oh, well, this place was exclusive. Oh. You watch where you shop at the heart of Verona. Hmm? Digital camera, blue lipstick, crimson lipstick, bomber jacket. <laughs> Stay safe. Huh? Neat. Ah, so basically, and then go downstairs. Oh, mad. Okay, so next time I next time I find something like that, if I want to do that. And liquid. Hydration is important. <laughs> okay, let's continue on then. Oh dear. I'm messing up. <laughs> Low on health again, no oh dear. I could choose a little breather. Isaac Ice massage chest, considering. Hmm, mm, these look acceptable. Hey partner! Hey partner! Hey Jen Jen! However, I took a course in massage therapy long ago. Give you a massage if you like. What would you prefer? Hmm. Your hands go deep. You think you might be blushing. <laughs> um, excellent. I'll start with your thing. Tips and work my way to lower back. Just relax. Ooh. <laughs> yeah! Saying how you're cutie! You feel Isaac work the stress and tension out your limbs, back and neck. When he's finished, you feel de deep lethargy, but newly renewed flexibility. Two. Mm -hmm. There we are then. I hope that was successful. Right. Thanks. You're most welcome. It was a pleasure to use an old skill. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't have a gift to give. Do not... Now, let's get back to the dungeon, shall we? All I have is the bracelets, and he rejected that. 
Now nah, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, uh, red rose recipe. Who fun? Ah, oh, crap! I was gonna heal. I tried to heal, but I couldn't. Failed. I died. Wielder level three. Amateur. Level four. Level five. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> How is Queer Dungeons? It's going good. Okay. Just said you're fighting your inner demons in the dungeon, so it's kind of like therapy, but with swords. Yeah. <laughs> Valerie. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Sounds healthier than I thought. At least if you don't take any further. Don't take any personal damage. Therapy is important, especially when you're. Feeling on edge. I never told you, but I went to therapy for 12 years. It helped me grow and level up as a person. 12 years? Are you okay? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's totally normal, kiddo. No worries. Hey, it's Daggy, you met. Named Valeria. Valeria. <laughs> Hot. How's everyone doing today? You okay, Jen? Jen? I hope you're okay. Gee. Want to meet up sometime? Sure. Cool. Crafting. So I can make red rose. Leather jacket. I don't have enough stuff for. I need fabric. Sure. What's this? I'm not, but you'll be fine. Ah, oh, hugs, hugs. Sleeve. Right. Shall we go back into the dungeon? Web web. No, let's go see. Oh, actually, let's buy. Let's go buy um a bit of fabric. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And let's go date this tassel. <laughs> the shop smells of dust and oil. You spot Eric behind the register, reading the book. Oh, you came. You Hi. came. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Nice Thanks. shop. We just restocked our spadroon supply. Let me give you a tour. We're in a beach knockerheads mostly want split blades and razors, but we carried the finest blades and even made even made on site. Some even made on site in my favorite smithery. Oh no, the game got spoiled for you. No, Jen Jen! I also teach classes at Verona Beach about uh, the history of war. Hmm. Tell me, what's your favorite weapon? Uh. Okay, it's hmm. Interesting, a formalist, hmm? I hope you'll let me break a few rules now and then. Ah. Hey, you mean a weapon person? Right, of course. <laughs> Naturally fascinating building someone else in battle, trusting them with your life. Sometimes I wonder who Exilable would transform into if it were a person. But then I remember Sun Tzu and Napoleon and Genghis Khan. People win wars, Mary. Mary, not weapons. Weapons are just cool. Tools, wielders make the decisions, the strategists, the strategies, the tactics. It's not polite to say, and pure humans aren't superior, but the truth is we're better suited to leadership. Pure? Mm -hmm. Whatever the opposite of a hybrid is. Mm -hmm. I have a little project if you think you'd be interested in. Unfortunately, new and approved kind of weapon. Way more fun to wield than the boring guest talk you like so much. Hmm. I don't know what you call this uh, supreme weapon yet. Hi. I aspire to be the great small smith as Goro Nyodo Masamune someday. If this lady is my opus, then maybe you des it will deserve the name Masamune. I bet it'll make me rich too, even though the idea is itself is simple. Hmm. I just want to make a weapon with a little bit of intelligence. It doesn't need its own thoughts and feelings and package. Think of it, the ultimate weapon, with all the tactical insights and none of the drama. You want it to be mindless? Ideally, no. Ideally, I want it to be my perfect tool. But in practice, yes. A perfect servant will always be more liable, loyal than us, equal. God, I hate this person already. I hate him already. Ugh. 
You only realize you can only rely on yourself, the better warrior you'll be. Hmm. I can buy wire and I can buy plastic with fabric. So did we, so did you. Uh, cool. Catch you on the shop, shop side, cutie. Oof. So I guess you know. Reach there, Ren. Exactly. I mean, there isn't anything wrong with weapon people, they're just not for me. I can't really expect a person to sit in a case pretty all day, can you? You could pay them! Alright. Alright. Yeah, oof. To the dungeon! Oh, we can go to, uh, straight to floor 3. Going down. Could be an elevator shop to find. Let's keep it out. Woo! Continue on. Yeah. It's just so much of an. So much of a dick and. Uh... So yeah, I could go to the secret shop again, I think, but. Paying five dollars, five months, but ah. gotta keep paying attention. No fears here to be found, it seems. It's fine. Isaac watches the water gently falling. Sometimes I wonder if the monsters came because of the beauty here. Even among the crass commercialism, there's something lovely and ephemeral about a fountain. About a fountain. To me, this is true spirituality. Enjoying a moment of life and water. I completely what? understand completely. I'm glad. I always wanted to share quiet moments with someone. Like you, I suppose. You spend a moment together in the sign of contemplation. Especially you feel a moment mass and return to the dungeon. Rested. Fun, fun. Now this is true therapy, <laughs> yes. I think your fear changes. Fear of change is lessening as we go deeper. Okay. And we can go down. There's also something over here I wanted to check out. What is over here? more enemies up here. Ah, uh, just some crafting materials. Fair enough. Oh, Ooh, yod yod. And down we go, right? Ooh, love maxed. Thought you could next day, Tim Hinch. Shall I change to Sunder, the tower? I like to practice small tarries from things. Often practice at the mission. I'm getting texts. <laughs> okay. Let us continue for. Down here we've got 
and the massage fee. Something ironic about getting texts and fighting evil sentient flip phones. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Nothing like a massage to loosen up all those tight muscles. You both sit in massage chairs, they begin to vibrate and need your back. Hmm. <laughs> the kind of metaphor of modern life? Yeah, you relax into the massage. Too soon, it's over. Looks like Sunder has fallen asleep. Have another one. You're in around two. The massage is quite effective second time, but there's no rush. When it's over, you see Sunder has woken up at long last. Stretches like a cat and finally stands up. All right, ready to go? Do you got? Yeah. Not to give it a gift right now. Okay. Ooh, there's a bolt here. We got gourmet cupcake recipe. Oh my. Challenge room! Challenge complete! Yay! And I get a bolt. Mmm, that tells now. Uh, raspberry liquor! Raspberry liqueur! Ooh, fun! I'm getting, I'm getting stuff for foods and drinks now. I can make food and drinks. <laughs> Lots of blood, yep. Yeah. Darn those flip phone things! Like a combination of flip phones? The combination of the flip phones and the um, TVs attacking from a ranger is the worst. <sighs> Mole 5. Get as close to me if you can find a key nearby. Ooh, done. Battle your fears. It's a giant telephone! <laughs> <laughs> it's a crab! <laughs> it's a... Getting sugar. Ow. Ooh. He does a lot of damage. Okay. I got no more drinks left. Don't say that. I mean, right. Anyway, I want to get back to the center. It's okay. Get back to the center. Okay, just keep dodging. No, darn it. Ah, no indeed. A level six. And thing. Beep. Bing. Boop.
Let's just thing open my submission. Catch try me? Sure. Uh be in the sanctuary of San Drogo. I was so worried when you went off to VB on your own. You're doing great. Facing fears, finding friends, I'm amazed. Makes me proud. My little baby bird flying on her own. You don't miss me? <laughs> You'll die you died there too, yeah. Are you serious right now? Of course! You love my life, you know that? <laughs> Damn right who's showing crap, yeah. <laughs> Try to stay out of your way. This is important and it's part of growing up. I'll be here when you need me, you'll always be my daughter. <laughs> ah! Everyone send hearts. <laughs> Phone crab. <laughs> uh, hello. You free? Sounds good. See you by the pond. Let's see. Gobby cupcake recipe requires plastic. And recipe to cure. E hat. Let's make the gourmet cupcake. And I need materials for the other things. Off we go! Yeah, it requires plastic and it's weird. Let's go see Valeria then. You arrive at the park but don't see anyone at first. Then you notice a small metallic gleam on the bench. Hello! These cutscenes are so cheesy, I love it. Ah, that's better. Huh? She stops and gives you a piercing look up and down. Huh? Hey, wow, I didn't. I really didn't get a proper look at you in the dunge. You're cute. Uh, thanks. I'm polite too. Too little that around these days. Thanks. By the way, thanks for meeting me in public. I know you're the one who rescued me, but I still don't know who or how I got down there, or how my blade got chipped. In an ironic twist, someone's clearly backstabbed me. Something a little jumpy. <laughs> cherry belts! <laughs> oh, aren't you a cutie, Cherry? Besides, safety first, in case you're an axe murderer. Huh. Though I suppose you're more likely to turn out to be an axe. Not well, that would be a problem, if I were you. That, that would be hypocritical, given my own. She leans in closer and lowers her voice dramatically. Situation. <laughs> So what is it? You know, your deal? You can tell me. I won't judge <laughs> you. I just prefer an up front just before anything happens. I'm not sure what my deal is. Well, I haven't heard that one before, at least. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe it would be fun to find out what it is together. Man approaches, I you suspiciously. Can we help you? Everything alright, V? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's peachy. Thanks. See you later. Thanks, stay up and down. Stare you down for a moment before moving on. Um, Sorry, that's a friend. Seeing, checking in to see if I haven't been axe murdered yet. Anyway, ooh, ooh, ah, 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 oh, oh. hey, OG, hey, OG vampire, how you doing? <laughs> I think I started something in chat. Uh, the no, you was. <laughs> don't, look, don't take this the wrong way. Your story's too convenient. You're from out of town, a newbie, never dated it before. Yet you're also charming and apparently great at combat. Something doesn't add up. Oh, nobody's called mm. me charming. That's sweet, but I have trouble believing it. The truth is, we barely know each other. She stands, you know, you have to say something or else. Never see you again. I'll get to know me then. You feel a little breathless at your own daring, but Valeria's eyes will warm up a little. I suppose that's all why I came to Ver Verona Beach. New start, new friends. Ooh, love Frank Warden. Enemies nearby get confused when you roll out a dot roll out of sight. Ooh, fun. Ah, tickles! Hey, partner! Hey, partner! <gasps> and if you turn out to be an evil mastermind, well, keep your enemies close, right? Right. <laughs> C'est la vie! That's your favorite gift. Got my cupcake! Oh, thank you, really! Wow. Like one last fiery look, she stalks away through the park. You hit him. Oh, she loves my cupcake. <laughs> on your way home, you find a rose on your doorstep. Nose reads, think of you, Eric. You carry it inside. Yeah. Mm. 
Sure, I'll send thanks to the Rose. Why not? No, thank me. A woman like you deserves appreciation. My business is doing well, so I'm generous. Come by the shop sometime. If you don't hate me. Oh dear. Well, I do hate you. Go away. Next time a real date? One where I don't accuse you of being a murderer. Or an ex. They were new and nice. A new nice one once. Anyway, I think my blade is mostly healed. Glad to hear it. Thanks. I'll let you know once I can think of a date we can go on. Let's go to the dungeon in the meantime. Fun. How are you, OG, then? Hope you're doing well. Let's go to Sun... Thing. Such a very good combat training space. Hmm, mm, you're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too consistent. You could try going a bit slower or faster. Or try a new parry direction. Surprise is the spice of life. And fencing? Go on, take a stab at it. Parry diagonally. Yeah, just like that. Perfect form, just lovely. Yeah, oh. perfect form too. What? I'm not even wielding. Oh, you mean. Um, well, thank you. Let's just. Resume. <laughs> you practiced parries and lunches for a while. Nice work. You even have me sweating. I'm just getting started. You want you to a new doll and he doesn't spare you an inch. He deflects every first, easily knocking them aside and scoring you. Trying to play your, ba your game, but your PC is having a. Oh dear. I know that feeling, um, OG. A bit, uh. A bit will sort itself out soon. Fix every first easily, up on the side and scoring on you. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're a mercy. <laughs> it's cause to breathe. And you're a flower, oh, madame. But I'll take it, thank you. I suppose regular passage has its advantages. Besides just exercise, I'm relieving aggression towards my father. I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. <laughs> Reverse timing is more forgiving. Reverse knocks enemies back further. I can choose. I'll go a bit more forgiving. We could continue. I'll take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church? It's a French jack and looks around. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comfortable place. She wasn't as kind as your mother. It's, it's, it sounds like. But she did some things, right? She, she came for the community mostly. But I took it more deeply. There are so many mysteries in this life, Mary. Some people suffer. Others become swords. Mm -hmm. A purpose hell is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some sort? I don't know. Questioning and open-mindedness are important. Even so, I hope you decide one day. Belief can be really strengthening, one way or another. At least you can agree that love is power, and not just real, generous, patient love. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think that love can connect everyone, no matter what e -E we believe in, or don't. There are so many suffering people, I want to help them all. I know you like token business and I see it more as a powerful tool. I started Brooks Associates to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. He relaxes a long exhalation, shaking his head. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Vincent could be a difficult man, lots of saber rattling. We all have our bad days. Indeed we do. Though I'm not sure his stress is excuses. Callousness. He wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try and s to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up the courage to go into the dungeon, even when you're afraid? Oh? I just plunge in. Yeesh, I tried that with Vincent once. As a teenager. It, didn't, it did not end well. I still think I have a scar on my hilt from that scuffle. It was an accident, but still. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry, parry than to go on the offensive. The crowd starts a bit worrying. Perhaps the service will start oh. soon. Oh? Out of time already. How time flies. How it flies. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Offer a gift. Do I have the red rose? Never knew so you were such a romantic. Why, thank you. Give a perfect gift. Ooh, neat. Good day, Mary. Be well. Yay. 
I head home. I'll be in the Sanctuary of San Drogo. Thank you for coming to practice. So pleased with your progress. What's the view? Emoji to use? <laughs> so, you don't need emoji. That or pray and dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go to the dungeon. I found you another day. You probably met already. Who is it? Go to her paradise town. Paradise lost tomorrow at noon. She'll meet you there. She'll wear a blue jacket. Great. And don't forget to smile. Hmm. The fake smiles are usually a bad. Never mind. Smiling optional. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, it seems that once I craft it, I don't craft it again. Paradise Lost. Welcome to Paradise Lost. I'm Olivia. What kind of cats do you like? That's the friendly too. kind. A cat's friendship is pure and eternal. Unless they're hungry, I guess. Hi, Anna Claire, how you doing? You just found out that you can't get back to your male voice or demonic voice. <laughs> Natural voice sounds like a fanboy. Oh, fun. <laughs> Yeah, because you're meeting me, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought Jesse would tell you. He set us up. Oh, I know. I forgot to take off my work apron. Sorry, one second. I don't leave your takes off the apron with a smile. I mean, I guess this is kind of a date, but it doesn't have to be. We can just hang in pet cats. I don't really like dates anyway. Who wants to play some game of trying to guess the right thing to say? And then you flirt and you're supposed to start kissing. It's also fake. I try to be sincere. Do you? Or are you just trying to? Are you just playing a dating game? I'll never know. Move your friend slightly. For eyes focusing on the distance. Wait, don't look behind you. But I think someone's watching us in the window. Speak from Connie, right? But you don't see anyone. Hmm. They're gone. Maybe I'm imagining things. <laughs> People keep saying that that's cute, and you need to. <laughs> you need to stay cute. You do need to stay cute. You're a big cutie. An elegant cat walks up and sits nearby, staring at you curiously. Huh? I don't recognise you. This one. Who are you, kitty? Are you new here? Oh, she's so cute. May I pet you, perhaps? If you reaches her hand tentatively, the cat walks away again. Tail in the air. I guess I invented her. Yeah, you are cute. I will pet you at this pet ca at this uh, cat cafe. <laughs> You spent some time chatting with Olivia, chatting and petting cats. This was nice. See you around. Want to meet uh, up again? Huh. I'm sorry, but I don't think so. Thanks, but no thanks. It was nice to chat, but you're a little too intense for me, to be honest. Okay, no problem. Um, so if any of my friends become single, I'll let you know. She backs up the cafe with a blush. Where's your proof? Head pats. Eee, head pat. I don't know, I would head pat, a head pat at you think. And you've... My proof is you've sent me multiple pics. She backs out of the cafe with a blush. The cat gives you a pitying look. Hey kitty kitty. Cats, there's not until you feel com uncomfortable. Good head time. Yeah, it's all the cuties. Hmm, I guess it didn't work out, huh? Or didn't. You know, your date with that coffee cutie. Been there, I know how far to be rejected. I think they're so much better than us, but they're not. You're better than all of them. Do the... Be treat like a queen. Please stop. Sorry if I'm awkward, I'll say too much. You're just so pretty. Oh dear goodness, I hate him! I hate him so much! Uh, so how'd it go with Olivia? No dice. Ah, uh, okay, don't worry about it. We're over two then. But this is normal, this is progress. Just think, a few weeks ago you never dated anyone, and now you. 
have experience and skills. If you want to change up your weapon combos, check out the gym in town. And the most romantic holiday around the corner. Yeah. Ever is around the corner. Valentine's? No, silly. Fourth of July. Nothing's more romantic than a barbecue and fireworks. Of course. You think I'm joking, but wait and see. I met my partner Sam and throw it at a barbecue. It's gold. You'll all be... Heart <laughs> eyes. I'll send you details soon. Uh, make you blush. Yes. That's good. Need to make you blush all the time. So, cutting edge gym. Oh. That's how I can go for you. Ah, so. Basically, it just allows me to um, change what things they are. Elk and arrow? Or, ooh. Ah, they've come to town. Opera tickets, concert tickets, ballet tickets, and then all this stuff which is expensive as fuck! Don't want to blush because she wants to keep calling you cute. <laughs> yes! That's the point! Uh, naked Steel, let's see what you got here. By wire, sugar, st and steel. Okay, let's go into thing. Let's try out Valeria. The cute paradox, indeed. We'll go to floor five. I'm going down. <laughs> I don't want. You don't want to be in this paradox. Ah. It's nice that it's not so crowded. Not the obvious. Ow. At least I'm at full health now. Okay. Oh, come on, roll away, get away, get away. Doing much better with uh, Valeria. Ow, come on. Feels good. Woo woo! Chemistry sign, chemistry it's a recipe. Woo! And key! Normal gate has been finally unlocked. And head down here now. Smaller, smaller phone crabs, <laughs> but this time they've got buttons rather than rotary. <laughs> No sign then. Not oh, even more poppy and mainstream. Probably just some lazy knockoff. But it's possible the art is known and commented on the commercial placement. It'd be nice if the piece were both pretty and honest. Both important components, wouldn't you say? In um, art, of course. Both <laughs> are essential. Eh, you just agree with me, coward. <laughs> Hear me? We're doomed if you're a liar. Even if it's just as friends. Guess we'll find out sooner or later, huh? Offer a gift. It is indeed! Ye. I'll forgive. Yeah, let's give, give it the bracelets. This is exactly my style. You have a good eye. Thank you. Okay. Let's go down here. Let's see what this is. Okay, 
So, yes. This is so much better than um, I'm doing a lot of. I'm doing so much damage with uh, Fedaria. Okay, that was a dead end. So, we go this way. The confusing rolls are great, yeah. Another one. More health. Ooh, there's you. A vault. Fashion sign. Me. And there is indeed cute you, aren't they, uh, OG? Continue on stabbing everything. Woohoo! I'd have five of you if I could. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's the stairs downwards. So I guess we want to go up this way. But uh, you heard your voice. See me out, makeup and wig. Still, you're still a key. Pepperoni pizza. Mall isn't so bad when it's with you. You are! I've seen proof! Okay, downstairs we go. Is that a gramophone? <laughs> uh. You are though, Anna! Heal up, or head up this way. Ooh, arcade. Finally, I must have freezed that. Ooh, neat. Arcades are around, take it away. Huh. The machines could become outdated as almost as soon as they're made, you know? They're ephemeral, always replaced by something newer and better. But there's some charm in the older games. There's a window into the past. If you squint, a pixel art has a lot in common with pointillism or mosaics. Do you ever play older games? Lots. Huh? Wow, really? Antiquarian of sorts, then. Maybe we should visit a game museum sometime. For now, we've got to get back to the fight and show those monsters who's boss. That is dramatically. Yeah. Haven't seen, but these two agree, so you're key. Indeed! Oh my god, they fight records with us. <laughs> Puzzle records. Living on the edge, that's us. <laughs> yeah. Like, Anna, even if you don't consider your feminine uh, right now, yourself feminine right now, you will be, and that's all that matters. Plus, cuteness and femininity are not a link, intrinsically linked. Okay, let's head up this way then. Challenge room. Glass and wire. 
got this. Shiny. Fabric. And sure, let's activate the shine. Fuck it, oh dear. Ah crap, can't I complete that. Woo. And let's continue on. Your face is a little feminine. Woo woo! We got progress! <laughs> Wish there was a way to fast travel across the dungeon, uh, across the floor, but oh well. Move on. And <laughs> break the trash cans for items and money. Because <laughs> that's totally what normal, right? You hate that you sent an audio of you admitting that you're cute and adorable. Indeed! You're gonna delete it. What if I've already saved it and I can send it back to you then? <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't. I'm not that mean. It's the uh, thing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, oops indeed. Don't send it to Terry or Kiwi. Oh. Ooh, is that an ice cream? Ice rink. I never quite got the hang of ice skating. Uh, it's fun, don't get me wrong. I just fall down a lot. I hope you're ready. Hang on to huh? me. Are you sure? I hate to bring you down with me. But here goes. She clings onto your elbow, carefully putting one skate in front of the other. Faster! <laughs> yeah, wait! How do I stop? She slips and stumbles, but you help her regain her balance. <laughs> Valeria beams, excitement flushing, flushing her cheeks. Eventually, you take off the skate. Thanks. Hehe. <laughs> Your face is so hot. Ah. Ow. <laughs> Cause she's cute. Yeah, that is a very good thing. I got business suit onyx. If the monsters put this here. Okay, let's heal up. Ah no. Ah, no. Uh, and I found the one. The found the one of me saying, "Ah, no." Okay, keep going. Oh, neat. I'm trying to protect you. Ah, come on! Down the wall thing! Yeah, down we go. Let's go to Isaac. Ow! 
Darn it. <laughs> I switch him and just go straight die. Level seven. Level eight. Level nine. Boop. Wait. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> so I can make pepperoni pizza, sure. Raspberry liquor. Leather jacket. Chemistry sign. Any more materials? <laughs> Ooh, what's that emote? <laughs> Pouting. Uh -huh. Don't pounce, Anna! <laughs> so I guess I can now change to a leather jacket. The best jacket, do not at me. <laughs> I still like the cute mini dress. <laughs> New thing. The frozen trap mine. Mine trap, ah, okay. Jesse. I almost got you another date, but I need some info. Be honest. Would you rather get to know a guy who's buff or sweet? I want sweet. No password height. <laughs> you're you just are. Uh, oh, this is a trick question because this dude is buff and sweet. His name is Jonah, and he is the best. How do you know? <laughs> Use a date a while back. Way before Samantha. He really he was really fun. He'd be a good friend, I think, no matter what happens. You like me, Samantha? Of course. Talk to you soon. Valeria. I had an idea. Do you like mu museums? Go oh, yeah. Meet me at the museum. Wear something red. Sure. <laughs> JK, <laughs> wear whatever you want. <laughs> Okay, let's leave. You just are cute and adorable, Anna. Okay, let's go to the museum. You find Valeria in the lobby and she leads you into the museum. Hmm. In the first gallery, Valeria stares daggers into one of the sculptures. It's too perfect. Perfection is so boring. I don't trust it. <laughs> you saying I'm not perfect? Huh? Shit, you trapped me. <laughs> of course, you're perfect yourself. So, you don't trust me? <laughs> well, I already got myself in trouble, huh? <laughs> Let's just say I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> uh, Valeria guides you through the mission museum without a map. According to her win. Yay! Anna, Anna, Anna admits it. <laughs> Would you like to offer a gift? Nah. So not to give a gift right now. She talks about the art and with intimate fondness, like their eccentric family mm. members. Just wondering, if you could steal a painting from any museum, which one would it be? That's a loaded question. I know, they're my favourite kind of question. You never thought about it before? I steal The Birth of Venus by uh, Bougerou. It's in the Musée d'Orsay. Uh, ground floor near the stairs. Ugh. Real issue is the size. It's 3 by 2.18 meters. It'd be a crime to roll it up. Huh? Oh, you thought this through. Oh, it wouldn't do, do to get caught, would I? Probably not. I missed out on the chance to enjoy my painting if I was in, problem, in prison. Now, it's your turn. Which one? What would you look for? To the kiss. Summer days. Uh. Let's go to Oki's Summer Days. Skulls and flowers are curious juxtapositions. Yes, I can see that one speak to you. I hate museums as much as I love them. The idea of them, anyway. I should be free, out in the world, not hidden away like Ugh. this. But Verona Beach isn't so bad. Can the museum free and open to the public? Have you heard about the mural at the mall? Maybe you could look at it together sometime. I'd love to know what you think. 
You are saying it's the Roses of Venus. You know, the anonymous graffiti artist. Maybe they thought Verona Beach needed more beauty and love. Huh. Just so you're getting to know her better. The diary's attention wanders. Look around to see what's distracting her. And wait. It's the guy from the park. He's standing at the gallery entrance deck, glaring at you both. Um... I'm so sorry. I'll take care of this. He grabs the guy by the shoulder and pulls him away. Voice with him. They look intimate. Like they've known each other forever. A few moments. After a few moments, Valeria returns, looking flushed and angry. Ah. Do you want to get out of here? Uh -uh. Oh, dear. I don't want to talk about you. I just want to be somewhere else. With you. Love rank two. Enemies are confused longer. Roll further. Roll further. <laughs> Hell yes. You take Valeria home to your apartment. <laughs> nice place. <laughs> She's confident and knows what she wants. She figures out quickly what you want too. Oh my! After she snuggles into you, her help perfect. Into your palm, you're warm and cosy and soon fall asleep. And in the morning, she's gone. Oh my! <laughs> Sexy times! You up? Morning. I want to see you again, but I need to think. Let's just done for a while. Okay. <laughs> Next week then, <laughs> Mary and Jen. Oh gosh. Oh my. Oh lewd. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you and a plus one are invited to my 4th of July bug tomorrow. <clears throat> Jenna really wants to meet you and he doesn't mind if you're dating someone else, but no big deal. You can only... Only one? Definitely. Don't bring something. <laughs> See you tomorrow. It's okay. Okay, let's continue on. In the best way, then. Very true. <laughs> I just like running. <laughs> running around. We. Okay, shall we go to the dunge? And we'll go to Valeria. We'll start at 4 7. Going down. Verona Mall, fear of change. Well. Here we go. Yeah, I can see why it's fear of change. Like all the retro stuff. Like retro TVs and phones. Yeah, but indeed. Ah, come on. Move challenge complete. So, uh, got another one of those. Ooh. Yeah, top of the thing. Let's go to the secret floor. Key. Digital camera, blue lipstick. When you're so blue, even your kisses make someone else blue too. <laughs> Bomber jacket. Sure, let's get the blue lipstick. That seems fun. <laughs> and it's a shortcut to the next floor. Okay, round. 
Round and round and round I go. Well, let's stop. I don't know. Whew. Okay, so can we continue on with it? Oh, a hail hydrate from a from a certain vampire. <laughs> sure thing, I'll hydrate for you. There we go. I hydrated <laughs> before I dehydrated. <laughs> Turn vampire! <laughs> Disgrace! <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> D. Okay. This this fall seems to be very um long and speed. Oh, it's the um Oh. Not again. Uh, it's so nice to stretch out after a long session of stabbing monsters. Now my dagger am more focused, but more tense. Does it hurt? Uh -uh. No, no, it's good exercise. I just need to stretch afterwards. She knows she playfully and sits on the fountain's edge. Would you like to offer a gift? What have I got? Here is a blue lipstick. Ah, thanks. You didn't have to. We sit together in a companionable silence. Thanks. Thanks, that was nice. My life could use a little bit more peace. Now I'm ready to head back in. Yeah. Hit okay, this this way and what's up here? Ooh. A vault with anime t shirt recipe. Oh why? Do I need to get that? <laughs> oh, another vault. Sleepy time, Zine. Okay, so roll around. Get out the way, the bloody mini crab. You're just pains in the ass. Okay, there we go. There's just this crab left. Yes, done. I knew we could do it. E. Break these boxes and the trash bags. And down, down we go. Next floor. Throne of more deeps. Fear of change. Oh, next boss. Where's the new weapon there? Gate is closed, maybe. Gate is closed. Maybe you can find a key near somewhere. Leave the guns. Cancel. Oh, it's another phone crab! Crap. Ooh, no, go away. There we go. Got rid of the phone crab. And night armor recipe. And another key. Do you find a strange gadget? Fits in your hand smoothly, but you're not sure how to use it. I wonder who it is. They seem dormant somehow. You press the button and it flares to, it's fire flares to life. 
Ooh, new transformation! Hey. Whoa. I feel... slow. Like I took a really long nap. Maybe I have a screw loose. Literally. Who are you both? What day is it? You tell him what are you know. I've been down here two weeks. Well, thanks for waking me up. I'm seven. I should probably let my agent know where I've been. You have an agent? Yeah. No comment. But I know I owe you one. How about a coffee later? Sure. Mm hmm. <laughs> More risky, but okay. <laughs> Seven leaves you, and you return to your explanation. Oof. There's another person to date. <laughs> oh, spikes everywhere. Oh, my. TVs are now bigger. With the, um... Split colour thing. That was a uh, a bit disastrous. Okay, let's head this way. See what's ah! Another spider crab. Another phone crab. Sorry. Ah no! No beverage just left. me that was a uh, that one was a bit hard I think we head into a bit more harder dungeon harder section of the dungeon now wouldn't mind taking a breather so good time for a little self-indulgence right you sit in the massage chairs they begin to vibrate and need your back Too soon it's over, you feel more relaxed. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah. So, you decide not to give a gift right now. The very stretches are happy uh -huh. growing. You think the monster, monsters use the massage chairs when they relax when they're not fighting? Definitely. <laughs> Slaps mm -hmm. this Well, those weird vertebrae need special massage experts, expertise, I'm sure. Until we chop them up. Let's go. Another bolt. Got a cultist robes. And a lot of money. Two dollars. <laughs> ah yes. The fast the fast stack was just worth two dollars. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's this way. Oh, we have an arrow arrow. One second, I shall. Do it for you. Roll the dice. See what type of arrow, arrow you get. <laughs> okay. We'll roll the dice. It's just a five. Da -da -da -da. Oh well. <laughs> just a normal one. <laughs> Still happy with that though, Jen, are ya? You want that six though?
Oh, dear me. <laughs> Sexy. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, and I did. <laughs> we both are. Oh, gosh. Right, level 10. Level 11. No, you. No, you indeed. Level 11 and practice. Um, we maxed out a thing. We gotta wait for a date inv invitation from her now. Who do you invite to Jesse's barbecue? Sunder, Valerie, Isaac, nobody. I don't go with Valeria. She accepts and says, show me you're there. On the way over, you pick something to share. Serve the cheese, cheese or cake! You worry it's not good enough? Will Jesse laugh at you? You buy it anyway. Cake seems to be a safe bet. Everyone likes cake. Right, Jen? <laughs> you find Valeria waiting out at Jesse's house. Hey, stranger. Miss me? Oh no. <laughs> I started to know you are again. <laughs> You ring just the doorbell and heard the answers. You hear the sound of talking to music from the backyard. You go around back to investigate. Hey, it's my coolest cousin. Everyone be friendly, okay? Cake! <laughs> Bunny reference heat. These strangers look at you curiously and raise your eyes. Her cheeks feel oh, warm. You brought cake! Perfect. We needed something sweet. And who's this with you? <laughs> oh my. Oh, you indeed. Thank you for letting me crash your little party. <laughs> you want cake? Give. Now, if only I had some, Jen. You're very welcome. Want a little tour? I need to go in and prep Ferguson's fruits. Yeah. Sure. I bought Black Arthur. Two. And made. Oh man, I can't wait. Thanks so much. Hmm. Yeah. In the meantime, Mary, meet Jonah. Here you go. Talk. Jesse pushed. Pushes a stranger towards you with a wink and works away. Um, hi. hi. I'm Jonah. Shoot, you knew that already. <laughs> I like how it's like, every time you see it, it's like, Swords? What about swords? <laughs> yeah. That's me. Cool. Well, uh, so that's... He's done not really, but trying to think of something to say. What do you I do? do? A lot of surfing and hanging out, mostly. Some reading too. Oh wait, do you mean for work? I don't really have a job right now. Yes, he said you fight monsters. Is that right? Is he some kind of human? It's no big deal. <laughs> it's exactly what Hero would say. I'm on to you. <laughs> I've been thinking about trying to dungeon out myself sometime. Maybe. Just you said you wield um weapons down there. I can sometimes be an axe. I don't do it often, though. That's amazing. Thanks. It doesn't take much effort, though. I just decide to change shape. Like clenching a fist. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Anyway, I could definitely use the money from a gig, but... Uh... You promised we weren't anyone. Like, not even animals? Only monsters. And who decides what an animal monster is, I wonder? But I don't really have a choice. I wish I wasn't hurting so bad for money. Here's my number. Maybe we can go together sometime. Or if you want to hang out, like us, humans. I'm usually at the beach. Sounds good. Let it rejoins and Jonas rejoins you and smile. Uh, rejoins you and Jonah with a smile. I cannot talk. I cannot read. Nah. And who's the cute friend of yours? Mm. Jonah. Wait, we've met. I know you. You're the one that always brought duck at the grocery store, right? Eric abruptly elbows his way into the conversation. No, go away. No one likes you. Oh, hello. May I kiss your hand? No thanks. Gives you a deep formal bow. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Hey Eric, I didn't know you'd be here. You don't seem the patriotic type. <laughs> yeah, fuck you Eric. Well I've heard the elusive Mary would be here, so I had to make an appearance. With the romance of barbecue and firma and fireworks, I thought this might be my chance. Real subtle bro. Eh, solidity is for combat and business. Love is an entirely different battlefield. Hmm. And I intend to bring all my cannons to bear on my target. Your metaphor is terrible and so are you. Your metaphor is bad and you should feel bad. 
Perhaps you can help me craft a better turn of phrase to capture your beauty. Find music placement speakers in the center house. Everyone starts like, talking louder. Ugh. Eric shudders as if in deep pain. Yeah, poison. I can't stand modern music. It robs the moment of any elegance. Give my regards to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. Eric hurries away. Hands over his ears. Uh, are you okay, Mary? Mary? Eric really gets to you, huh? I'm fine, thanks. You realise you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where does your confidence go? Valeria gives you a little smile of sympathy. That guy gives me the creeps. Eric, Jesse, and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think he's just lonely. That's the human right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. I'll never uh... understand. Maybe not. I have to hope so, though. Evening goes surprisingly quickly with lively conversation. You eat burgers and grilled portobellos steadily, walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. At one point, the music is turned down and everyone quiets watching the fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel a wild romantic surge for you. You have to... Kiss Valeria! <laughs> Kiss the cutie! You sure attend the movie forever as the fireworks end. Someone turns the music back on. <laughs> Those were some explosions, alright. Now, back to partying. I hope Jesse won't think. <laughs> I'm rude if I can't now. I have work to do. I want to do tonight. Uh -huh. Yes, me, then. Oh, gosh. Gosh. I'm celebrating imperialist colonizers. colonizers isn't my jam. The sun, though, huh? Nice meeting you, Jonah. Valeria gives you a light peck and cheat on her way out. Right. See ya. Have to fend for yourself a deep tire, so it soon overtakes you. Yes, he's for you. Yes, he's for both of you. Say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah and stop home. Yee. Fun fun. I shall leave the dunge. Ah, I've been thinking. Something's not right. Why would that sword have slept for weeks? Maybe he's depressed? Maybe. Either way, let's play, keep an eye out. I don't even know if I hear, see or hear anything. I do want a smunch. Yeah, um... Oh, it's... I'm getting loads of texts! All the texts! Seven. Thanks again. Doctor says any damage I took will hear it is a soft soon. What are you up to? Don't know. Doesn't matter. Want lunch? An I feel filler. Yeah, indeed. I should probably eat. I'll be at kicks. Jonah. Nice meeting you at the barbecue. It'd be fun to talk more sometime. But I just remember I'm out of town for the rest of summer. Aw, oh, sad face. Yeah, sorry. Maybe we can connect again somehow. Someday. If you ever want to come back to town in the fall, maybe I can show you some of the surfing spots on the island. You surf? Yeah, the ferry out there is under repairs right now. So, oh well. Oh, hope your summer in VB is the best. Thanks. Think we'll meet again somehow. Sooner than, than we think. <laughs> I like how all the dates that uh, Thing puts us on. That Jesse puts us on. Always fail. <laughs> so, how's the barbecue? So, right, right. You win. <laughs> I knew it! Honestly, I consider my job here done. You met some great folks, gone on some dates. I think I can back off and let you do your thing for the rest of summer. Is that okay? Sure. Cool, now we could just be normal friends and cousins. Phew! <laughs> Love you, cuz. Talk to you later. <laughs> Mind meeting me again? I'll explain some things. Please? Sure. Here's a hint where to find me. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to the park. Go see Valeria. So Valeria is sitting on the park bench, glaring at the nearby ducks. Her expression softens as she hey. sees you. Oh, hey. You came. I'm really glad. I wasn't sure if you would, after how things ended. 
I should go home from, with me for all the wrong reasons. I don't regret our time together. Not one bit. Um... We should have been, I don't know. You seem angry. I was. Not that you. I can explain, but... Sound like I'm quite a keen interrupter. Ah. Shut up, ducks! <laughs> can you believe that noise? I hope you're not one of those people that feeds the ducks at the park. I'm not. Good. I hate their beady little eyes. And don't get me stuck with no snapping bills. By the way, you can open pictures on the phone. Oh, okay. A friend of mine lost a dingo to duck. Got too close with a piece of bread and then... Snaps it. Valeria snaps the finger. <laughs> Oof. Go on, just like that. Is that Ugh. true? Valeria's lips twist into a gru rueful grimace as she, and she sighs. Okay, I may be exaggerated, but only a little. Um... Oh, and um, promise not to laugh? It didn't happen to a friend. It was me. <laughs> Valeria holds up her hand, showing you a faint scar on her index finger. I could kiss it better. She extends her hand, you look her in the eyes, and kiss the tip of her finger. <laughs> she shivers and you slide her, your lips down her palm. Her palm. Her wrist. <laughs> After a long moment, she pulls her hand back and smiles shakily. <laughs> You're uh, good at that. The sound of a loud quacking interrupts your moment. I can't believe you did that in front of the ducks. Whatever the world they think! Would you like to offer a gift? Do I have one? And... Mm -hmm. ah, not one to give right now. Next time, we'll go on a date without the risk of duck. Ooh! Backstab. Do group call to confused enemies. Ooh, neat. Mm. We were talking about something important before. Right, I remember. I was going to awkward explain Jake. You don't have to. Uh -uh. No, but I want to. It's that guy, right? Who keeps showing up? His name is Jake. I dated him for a couple of years. Um... And um, I dated his sister as well, at the same time. I mean, they both knew. You dated siblings? Trust me, it was even more work than it sounded. It sounds. We messed up a lot at first, but we learned. Got better at being together. I was young and in love, and I thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me. So we us against the world. We were to every to each other. We had the same goals, and we believed in the same things. And then? Greed and pride and ambition got in the way, as they usually do. Jessica wanted more, more recognition. More adventure, more everything. I wanted things to stay as they were, which was foolish. Foolish. Nothing stays the same. I went, I moved to Verona, Verona Beach, looking for a fresh start, and Jake followed me. You know, I know you haven't had the best impression of him, but he's a good fruit. Person, really. You argue a lot. I was in a three-way re relationship with him and his sister. We broke up acrimoniously. Acrimonobiously. Eh, I don't know. A few months ago. Are you surprised we argue? It's a complicated situation. I'll give you that. <sighs> Look, I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot, following us and all. I'll talk to him about it. Get him to back off. For real this time. Anyway, enough about my drama. I got you a little gift. Here. Yeah. A beret! I saw it in a museum gift shop. I thought of you. Thanks. You don't have to wear it, but uh, you'll look dashing if you do, I'm sure. But, you know, I'd love to show you my work sometime. You know, my paintings if you wanted? Yeah, sure. <laughs> There's a date. I've had new inspiration lately. Ciao. I'll look forward to see what you think next time. You have a lot to think about as you leave. The afternoon light fades into the evening. Before you come over, I gotta clean. I mean, it won't be clean clean. I'm not a nun. This muffin from 2016 needs to be evicted. And I will let you know when the sm it smell is gone too. In the meantime, I found some cool art in the mall. Did you see this? Ooh, fun. And then... Ah, yeah. Ooh, I love me, Rose. Maybe check it out together sometime. Jessie tells me you have a very attractive chain. <laughs> Friend. I don't want to pry, but is it uh, serious? <laughs> I don't know yet. We're just friends, Mum. Oh, we're eloping. <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. Okay, okay, no pressure. I'm just happy for you. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword. Which I guess is his uh, saying about marriage. Anyway, have a good day, sweetie. <laughs> oh, goodness me. 
Anime t-shirt. Anime t-shirt. Liberate. Let's go see Seven. You see Seven sitting alone, poking at his phone. Oh, it's you. Hey. Who hey. <laughs> puts his phone away and looks at you expectantly? But. So. Not good silence. Uh. What's your Blade Generation album? Never heard of Blade Generation. Seven smiles as if it's, as if it's a joke. Oh. Wait, you serious? Oh. Uh, Blade Generation is my band from Korea. Double platinum, no big deal. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. Too busy? Do you watch Net TV? Mm. I should chill out. It makes it hard. It takes hard work to achieve anything, though, doesn't it? Oh well. Since you don't know Blade Generation, I guess you don't need an autograph. Would you like to offer a gift? Have pizza! I'd love to curl up with you and a movie. Yeah. Hmm. So, we're done here, yeah? yeah? Wanna meet up again? Drugs. I'm pretty busy. I, I prep, prefer I come back in the fall. Uh. Don't know if I can risk going back into the dungeon. My agent would sue if I got any scars. Takes a sip from his coffee and makes his face. Something wrong? Yeah, I mean, not really, but uh. they used the wrong milk. Ask him to fix it. Uh, no. Talk to the stranger? More than I have to? No way! <laughs> that sounds an awful lot like uh, a certain few people I know. <laughs> Wait, why is she coming over here? Shit, cover me. Guess you approaches your table nervously. Hmm. I'm sorry to bother you. You're seven from Blade Generation, aren't you? I'm Olivia. Looks at you and shakes his head slightly. This is a slight panic. Uh, You're mistaken. Huh. No way. I know that was a bi I know that bias record is face anywhere. Wait, that means. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Blade Generation is in Verona! Oh dear. Huh? Maybe even Song Wu is here too! Seven's face closes, becoming carefully blank. <laughs> Maybe you rush away typing off then. Excitedly. You okay? Yeah. Whatever. Can't come here anymore, I guess. Nice having my back though. Later. I guess it's still the dungeon if you want to. The mod just won't bring paparazzi. Chain lightning. When finish the combo, an energy bolt damages a nearby enemy from the first enemy hit. Ooh, fun. Seven statues out. Met by an expensive looking car outside. You get home. Oh dear. Never going to kicks again. Have you ever other ideas? Movie? Oh dear, maybe sometime. I'll think about it and get back to you. Hey, let's go. Let's go back into the Let's Go Dunge. We'll take the floor now and we'll go floor 9. Going down! More. More dungeon crawling. It's nice that it's not so crowded. I could fight the boss again, but why would I? That's just a death sentence. Max Max Get all the <laughs> Ooh, more fabric. Back in Diamond 3 in Rocket League by getting boobled and so so I need to save two touches from opponents going in. Oh, fun.
Oh dear. Head pass emoji. And what's in this vault? We've got a hat, bike helmet. Eh. Nice find. Cool. Next generation animations. Hand covering them out. Oh goodness. <laughs> Okay, good to know. Good to know, um... R1 and R2 both do the same thing. Thousand channel points to cover their mouth in the hand like that for 30 seconds. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> uh. Uh. That's ridiculous. Okay, what's down here? Um. Huh? And this one again. <laughs> Make it 500 bits. <laughs> <laughs> Mac. <laughs> Thanks. Little date on the ice skating rink. Yeah, didn't read it out because, well, I've already done that one before. Okay. To the next floor. Wish there was a way to just go zoom zoom. Like, run faster when out of combat. Oh well. And down we go. The vampire tape! Uh -huh. Ow! There we go. Oh, goodness me, that was... A bit of a trial. <laughs> now the fun part. Yeah, I agree. Phone grabs. Oh, one second, I forgot to do something. Yeah. Gotta grab my charger and charge my phone because my phone is uh, dying. Ah. There we are. Sorry about that. And there's a vault. What's in here? Vodka recipe. Oh my. <laughs> Who should I give vodka to? <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's continue on. Wouldn't mind taking a breather. Huh. Yeah, and this is the same one again. 
Let's go up for honesty. Yeah. Same here. You can hold on to that, you know. Oh no! Oh no no no! <laughs> No, Jen, no! No, no, no! No, no! 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 You hear me? We're doomed if you're a liar! Even as his friends! To find out sooner or later, huh? That just sounds like a recipe for disaster! And I do mean the pun there! Damn it! Um. No zitches! Oh! Oh! One health! One health! Living on the edge of tomorrow! And I died. Oh dear, oh dear indeed. Leveled up to level 12. Oh dear. Ah. One sec, there we go. No, no. Can I craft anything? I can buy bike helmet, vodka. Business suit. Sleepy time? Yeah. Sleepy time! And then fashion, I need... Is that glue? I guess that's glue. Puts most monsters to sleep. Ooh, yeah! That sounds... Definitely need that. Be careful, it's dangerous. Okay, continue at the floor nine. Yeah, sure, but oh goodness, it would be hectic. It's nice that it's not so crowded. Okay. Down we go. Get some liquids. Okay. Feels uh, so nice to stretch out for us. Okay, it's this one again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course! Why do you think I'm here? The pay isn't that great. Now she pay for it and sit on the fountain's edge. Sit together in a companion of all science. Yeah. On we go. Oh, there's a bit of wire there. And... Oh, well, what's here? Fabric! E. So yeah, sleepy time is actually quite useful if you get yourself trapped. That's that's good to know. Okay, that was yeah, I've been there. That's, do the floor, I'm guessing the floors don't change. This floor doesn't change that much. Going. <laughs> I bet it would be fun to do, but oh goodness, was it? Would it be hectic? Da da da! Another floor down for the camp. 
On we go. Max level. Oh, let's change. Let's go to Isaac. Here we go, all oh dear, oh dear. Very much indeed. The problem would be getting ingredients. A better idea? Oh dear. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Cherry! <laughs> ah! Cherry! Goodness me! Would I really though? <laughs> I need health! There's a vault here. Fire brick. Continue forth! Yeah. No fears found here, it seems. Oh. Mm. You worked up, you've worked up a sweat, I see. Perhaps an ice cream could, would cool you down. It's been so long since I've indulged. Mm -hmm. I think I'll have an uh, apricot gelato. What flavour would you like? Well, uh, vanilla. Uh, Careful there. Fixate too much on fury and you'll see sin everywhere. <laughs> ah, this reminds me of Rome. The sun on the piazza. The taste of apricot. Have you ever been to Italy? They have fantastic fences in Rome. Touch not. Top notch. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Wasting all that sushi! Perhaps we can go to a match together someday. For now, however, practice must resume. Ooh, I'm not dead! Yum. Okay. Continue fall. Right, indeed. I'm going on too much on the defensive. Oh, victories means we're conquering your fears. Yes, yes, indeed. Heal up. Have you? What's this? Money! Perhaps this can help. One dollar and seventy-seven cents. Gosh. <laughs> cool. Max you out. Uh, let's go seven then. Let's try out seven. Just max everyone out and then we'll... Uh... Swipey swipe! <laughs> Swipey swipe the laser sword!
Yeah. Oh yeah. Have you two watched the um Pokemon Direct yet? Not yet. Yeah. I thought I could just skip through to the important parts because I just get bored too easily. Yeah. Basically, it was just news from like Pokemon Unite, Pokemon um, Go, and Pokemon um, Cafe Mix. Like a new Pokemon Cafe Mix they're bringing out. Yeah, there's going to be a mobile version of Pokemon Unite. And yeah, um, also there's news for um, Brilliant Diamond, Channing Pearl, as well as, um, what's it, news for Legends Arceus as well. I can find out more about the uh, story and the region. I won't spoil it for you because obviously, <laughs> thing. Yeah. I'm getting a bit more inclined to get Brilliant Diamond with Channing Pearl because of it though. North American arcades are kind of funny. They're so old and chill. Nobody's trying to be a pro. Could play some co-op. Yeah. yeah, okay. I heard this Moon Hunters one is pretty good. Never found the moon, though. You'd be shape-shifty, dude. Druid, and I'll be the swordman this time. Ha! You're gonna get both anyway, in a fair. You spend some time beating up pixel monsters and collecting loot. Seven runs over and resurrects you each time your character falls. <laughs> Yeesh, it's a good thing you're, you're more careful in real life than in game. Seven smiles, wiping sweat up from his eyes. Would you offer, like to offer a gift? What have I got? Raspberry liqueur? Eh, uh, no. Yes, I'm sure. Decided not to give a gift right now. Winning is hard work, unless we work together. It's going well. Yeah, you're gonna get both. Fair enough. I know I'm definitely getting Legends Arceus. I don't know about the others, though. The other. I don't know about Brilliant Diamond. Spider crab. The yeah, um, not spider crab. The phone crab. Ooh, that was me being careless. There's a vault here. What's in here? Teddy bear recipe. <laughs> Hope this isn't stealing. <laughs> Go smacky smack! Done and done. Did we do an on call? <laughs> uh, oh, there's a bit of liquid here. And health! Okay, there's the stairs. So that's that. Um, okay, we want to go up here. Here. <laughs> I think the monster's in training, yeah. There we go. Whew. Okay, one more room left, I think. Okay. I 
can just keep knocking back this one. There we go. Oh dear, shouldn't have done that. Oh well. There was nothing there valuable. But I'm good with this floor now. Hopefully there's an elevator. Okay. There's a breakable, but now nothing in. Why did you have it? Why did you not have anything in? Tut tut. Okay, next floor. And in here we have. I've maxed him out. Let's go to you. Hey. And. And I died. Done. Level 13, level 14, and there we go, the duelist. <laughs> Beep, boop, boop. Got five messages. Hey, Kurz. I don't know Sunder well, but I heard he doesn't have the best track record. Just be careful, okay? Okay. Valeria. Okay, muffin stench is gone, mostly. Wanna come see my work some evening? Sounds good. Can't wait. Wanna go to the club again? Yeah. Yeah. It's a date. I'm all yours. <laughs> Seven. How about maybe go for horror action? Action. Yeah, okay. And how about we see the dunge? It's showing at 6.30 most nights. I heard it's good. Let me know. Okay, let's go. Meet you inside. Don't bring the fan clubs. And Isaac. A company invested in is hosting a thank you party. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by S Slicer, the dating app for weapons. Am I invited? Of course, I hope you can attend. It's at the Verona Hotel Motor Ballroom. Ooh. Oh, it's almost time to leave to meet Isaac at his investor party. You realise you aren't sure what to wear to investor's party. Something sparkly, something serious, or something good. Comfortable. What do I wear? What do I wear, chat? Sparkly? Serious? Chat! <laughs> uh. Let's go sparkly. You dress with panache. Boking at the sexy woman in the mirror. Then you wonder, well if you're overdressed. What if you look ridiculous? You change clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time! <laughs> Finally put the first outfit back on and run to the door. I run out the door. It looks back to the usual crowd of software. Young software type. The entry is blocked. Private event tonight. Are you on the list? Hello. She's with Brooks Associates. Mary uh, knows everyone, huh? Eyes that kiss your teeth and leads you into the party. You look breathtaking. I didn't realise you had such style. Thanks for coming. Your support means much to me. All this is for you. <laughs> me and the other investors and employees. I hope my father makes it. My told me this guy was for his favourite charity. Where is he? Oh no! Go away! Why are you here? <laughs> a familiar face for the approaches with a smirk. Hmm. I see Slicer and both through VIPs. Mary, is this your weapon your date? He's more hmm. than just a weapon. He sure is. Deep pockets too. A fine catch of a sword. Hmm. I'm standing right here. You sure are. Good job, you. Everyone loves a sharp-dressed man. Hmm? Ah. Oh, excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. How's that ass name no, anyway? Oh. It was my first day. Oh my, so there's more to the story. 
Isaac. What is this, Housecape? The whiskies all have multiple malts. Good evening, Father. Can we have a calm, civil uh. conversation? This is most certainly not the foundation for dogs attending Harvard. Who told me Dr. Muffin the third would be uh. here? Uh, well, some of those people have dogs, I'm sure. These dogs haven't even graduated high school. What if I'm seen? Someone taps the microphone and the music is turned off. A slicer executive takes the stage and starts talking about the prophet in sword smooching. Vincent marches out the door. The slicer executive starts listing all the hardship they overcame and thanking their investors. Eventually she names Isaac and Brooks' associates by name in a special thank you and for his generosity. You notice Isaac's mind to himself as the speech ends. <laughs> Someone turns the music back up and the dance floor starts to fill. Well, I don't think everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. If people were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. We could even also reduce inheritance. But where'd my father go? Ah, don't worry about it. If only were that easy, I'd love to pick up a ticker dialogue option that says, I don't care what he thinks. Let's get some fresh air. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac assistants are talking. That's when Isaac pooped his pants in front of the whole family. Wow, that's hilarious! Father? Oh, hi, uh, Isaac, I'm gonna go. Ah, my worthless son. Are you done with your fuss? I wanted to show you that my money helps people. Real people. Instead of obsessing how much money others had, why not take care of yourself? You only have a partner. As you don't tell me you're dating this disaster. Present gestures in your general direction without looking at. I'm the disaster? Leave Mary out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. <laughs> Funding these bulls isn't a making difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. <sighs> Prisoner gets in a town car and slams the door. Driver pulls away. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distraction, I guess. You yes. okay? I'm alright. I knew this likely to go I knew this was likely going to happen. All I wanted is a good job. But uh, nothing with him is ever simple. Come on, let's forget him. I'll introduce you to a few people. Your friendship is my most valuable investment yet. He offers you with his elbow to a small bow. <laughs> Rank 3! Hold any heavy attack to charge up into a more powerful move. Fun. And perhaps a small gift for the lady? You get a blue flower. No oh, brother, little thing. Don't know if it's your style. I'd like you to have it. I love it. Wonderful. Now let's see what kind of music that DJ is starting to play, hmm? You rejoin the party and spend the rest of the evening together. I had a great night, time last night. Now I'm warmed up facing your fears in the dungeon. Yeah, I got the flower. Get the flower. Uh, if I come at... Teddy bear! Oscar. Uh, why not? Craft everything. I need glue for that, metal for that, and glue for that. The way I get glue, I'm gonna go. Might as well check actually the champ champion athleisure. This place. Fabric. Ah, glue. Ah, no. Some glue. There we go. Go back home and do a bit of crafting. Fashion design and cottage robes. So, fashion. Create a decoy. Yeah, neat. I'll keep the sleepy though, the sleepy time. Art studio. You turn onto the side street that houses for Valeria's art studio, but the smile on your face drops as you see Jake walk out. You duck into his shop doorway as he passes by and muttering to himself. You watch him walk away and turn to look at Valeria's door. You should just leave to let Jake alone and go in. Yeah, you will. Any time now. End the studio. The studio smells of paint and some kind of woody spicy hey. perfume. 
Oh, I thought you'd be here later. Did you see him? Jake? Yeah, I heard from him. He's being ridiculous right now. Thank you for being honest with me. Speaking of which... She twirls a strand of hair nervously and looks away. Speaking of messy, I have something to hmm. show you. I want to, I want to trust you with a new part of me. I'm not sure if I should. Do you really want to know who I am? I want you to be honest. It's a big step. I want to take it with you. Me too. Yeah. Really? Okay then. Come with me. She walks through Verona. You walk through Verona Beach with Valeria holding hands in near silence. But if you're nervous with anticipation, it feels palpable, palpable between you. Keep walking until you reach them all. Valeria tugs you to the side. He searches your face as you take in the mural on the pla uh, once plain wall. What do you think? It's beautiful. Thanks. You really think so? Um, wow. Thank you. So this is my last secret. Mine and Jake's and Jessica's. We were, we are the Roses of Venus. That's what we made together. We bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. You're maybe one of the 30 people in the whole world who knows who we are. Aren't you scared? Uh -uh. I'm getting caught? Nah. We've been provocators for years. Provocators for years. We've been in a few bad spots, but we know what we're doing. Well, that's my secret. This is who I am. Istanbul, Paris, Tokyo, New York, London, Shanghai, and now Verona Beach. Our last job, all together, was the Louvre. It got us a lot of attention. I think we're wanted by Interpol now. And Jessica wanted more of it. The more dangerous we got, the better. Ugh. I just needed to get away from it all. You know? Lilo. No chance of running into Jessica on Main Street. This is the opposite of her street. It's <laughs> of her scene. Larry looks at you. The truth of her paint is on the, on the wall behind. Impossibly bright. A link. Thank for all. Heavy finishes have a wider damage area. Heavy finishes confuse enemies. Sure. <laughs> Plus, I'm really starting to like it here. More than I like it, maybe. You stand together. People talk about the mural and take pictures as the sun goes down. Would you like to offer a gift? Give her the teddy bear. No, she doesn't like it. Now you keep that. Thanks anyway, though. Aw, she doesn't like the teddy bears. <laughs> Sad. Like the teddy bear. Okay, let's go see. Uh, let's go to La Rosa and spend time at La Rosa with Sunder. After a bit of dancing, you both retire to the VIP mm -hmm. section. Yeah, let's get to know each other better. Ask me anything, beautiful. Now, what do you do? I own this plant with Mandy, in place with Mandy. Well, she owns most of it. I make do with the scraps. Life is for living, right? So I work. I'd rather have a good time. Do more damage when it's around, it's sure. But it's been most nice dancing. I'm dancing. I'm glad you're here. I only have eyes for you, you know. But I meet your gaze of intensity that makes you blush. His focus is broken by his phone chirping, which he looks at briefly and puts uh... away. I'll be right back, beautiful. Don't go anywhere. All right. He li li smiles and leaves towards the bathroom. You wait, it's probably only been a few minutes, but it feels like he's gone for a long time. You feel an itch, a hunch, a, sus a suspicion. Hmm, maybe made nothing out of but made of nothing but jealousy. Let's check the bathroom. You wonder if you should go after me. Your gut feels tight with hot intention. You tell yourself to be not to be paranoid. Paranoid. Let's go. You decide to take a little peek to calm your nerves. You find the back door propped open outside, you hear giggling. You step outside and find Sunder leading into a woman, whose eyes are glazed. Is that her? Because someone like her that's watching us. Sunder leaps away from her, wiping hey. his mouth. What? Huh? Oh, uh, hey Mary. So, this is weird. I'm gonna uh... go. I'm only sneak up and go. I was coming back soon. Hmm. What did you say about me? Just that you're important to me. That's it. We have so much fun together. I want to make you feel special. Because you are. I like you. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Oh, one second. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm to click back on. Hmm. But also, sometimes I'll want to kiss other people, and I'm sorry if that hurts.
just don't lie to me. If you insist, but don't blame me if you don't like what you hear. I'll do right by you, Mary. Trust me. Nah, there's no offer. Decide not to offer. Head home. So yeah, he just likes to play around. Excellent, thank you. Your fav my fave dance partner. Oh, my fave too, sure. Got bike helmet. Oh, they each have uh, different things. Like, enemies get stunned when they damage you. They carry more beverages, but fewer zines. Beverages heal more. Uh, but these don't. Okay. Let's continue then. I think that's. Oh, yeah, and then there's El Granero. D7. Who seven find your seats and the movie starts? The film features a virtuous hero struggling against the odds to save her son. We can do this, but we have to work together. Explosion! Explosion! You think? I, I didn't know it was coming, but you didn't shock me. <laughs> I bet the sun's gonna become a sort of to save her. A katana, maybe? Before long, the sidekick dies and Seven frowns. <laughs> Sad face. Nyaa. Eventually, the hero mother emerges victorious, sun sounding proudly beside her. The lights come up and you leave the theatre. Ah, oh, man. Maybe I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. Hmm. What do you think? I like more realism. Well, you know it wasn't. You know it wasn't a duck elementary. I got her a gift. Do I have to tell you that? Ah, uh, the idea of you sewing this for me is <laughs> almost too cute. Chain lightning stuns, or can reach further. Let's get stuns. Oh wow! Hi guys, I totally didn't know you'd be here. Hey. Seven makes a face pleading as if, as if pleading slightly for rescue. We were just leaving. I haven't seen you around the cafe lately, but I wanted to give you something. Seven wrote this personal letter. Alright, I'll take it. Fans are important uh, to me. Huh. Uh, no. That is... Sorry, can you deliver it for me? Seven blinks. It's for Sung Woo, my ultimate bias. Can you give it to him? Pretty please? He stares at her for several seconds. Nuh-uh. Nope. <laughs> Seven walks away. Wow. Fame sure has got into his head. Huh. I believe you're holding the envelope. Song Lu is freeing on with the hearts but O's. I just have to figure out where Song Lu is staying, right? I guess. That's stalking. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just a letter. Nothing creepy in it either. Hmm. She sighs dreamily and wanders away. Oh dear. You head home. Had to go. Sorry. Talk to you later. Yeah. Hugs for you, Cherry. Okay. Let's go, Valeria. Floor eleven. I'm going down. How many flaws is there Verona in this place? Mall has seen better days, huh? Money! Okay. Time's room. Crab spider. Ooh, crab spider. <laughs> Why do I keep calling this crab spider? Crab phone. Ugh. Phone crab are the worst. So bulky and also do so much. You wouldn't mind taking a breather. A little time for a little self-indulgence. 
Relax, uh -huh. yay. Probably not. Not suddenly extremely serious. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Can you fall? <laughs> May as well. <laughs> And there we go. Oof. Sorry, I'm getting rather intense. Not speaking much, sorry. And in here we have some more fabric. Continue for. Ah, Another day, another victory. Ooh, and health. Let's continue on. Because I have city and your spider is ringing. Yes. My spider is ringing. <laughs> Next level. On TV! Here we go. Good thing that had um, health. Smack! Okay, now onwards! I just wasted something. Wasted another beverage. Okay, up here. Fountain. Okay. And. Uh -uh. Hey, thanks. And back in we go. Back into the fray. Oh, boss fight. What on earth is that thing? The caterpillar thing. Red beetle thing! Beetle butterfly! Indeed. Ah, no. Wish we could have just snuck past here. <laughs>
There we go. Defeated it. Kill five enemies in one second or less, so I'll kill a combo. Who neat. Boss defeated! Face your fears in the mall. Overcame fear. Change. A new plaza can be found in my apartment. Ooh, neat. Ooh, one second. I'm aware Cherry, yes. mother dearest, came in <laughs> and was asking about foods. Sorry about that. Yeah, fear of change, conquered. I beat the first bar, I beat, beat the first dungeon. Ooh, another weapon. A chip pole arm is unwield little unwieldy in your arm, in your hands. You touch it, it transforms. Transformation sequence! Hey, whoa, careful! Hi, I'm Sawyer. Yeah, well, I have eaten before, just not dinner yet. Probably because reasons. I'm not saying re the reasons why. Yeah. Sawyer. Sorry I'm a little long. I don't mean to be awkward to wield. Actually, I didn't mean to be down here at all. My memory's fuzzy and my head hurts like crazy. Hugs. I feel like something's missing. It's weird. Uh, your bait is cracked. I guess I should go to the hospital and call my Huggies. mom. Huggies! Or my blacksmith. Hmm. But all that has to wait because I'm late to history class. Oh, tardy. My professor's gonna dock me points for sure. But, um, maybe I can buy you lunch to say thanks. Here's my number. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> they hurry away towards the exit. Shiny. And Kigu Kigurumi recipe. Dungeon cleared. Need a dungeon live. Level I'm getting weird vibes from my basement. I mean, my club's basement. It's always been creepy, but this is different. I think I saw a monster down there. I'll check it out. Cool, thanks. Doesn't seem like the monsters will come upstairs. So we could just dance and ignore them, I guess. Let me know if you need someone to wield. Looks like there's a dun another dungeon now under La Rosa. That idiot Sunder will probably get himself killed down there. Good thing he has you to save him. Good thing you're in... I hate you. Uh, seven. Still keeping, still thinking about that movie. The character was so stupid. The villain should, the villain should have seen them coming. Fictional characters make the worst decisions. We're all dumb sometimes. Not that dumb. I don't know where my life's on the line. 
Or yours, I hope. Oh well. So yeah. Hey, nice meeting you. I only recently came out as non-binary, um, but please use they them. Anyway, I don't know if you're free, but I, I could buy you lunch or breakfast at Kicks. It's my favourite place. Sure. Perfect. See you there. Let's go meet them. So a new dungeon there at thing. Kicks. You're at you're to find Sawyer and Olivia arguing. Ugh. No more freebies. Haven't you worked here for like a year? Come on, just want a measly sandwich. I have a fr friend big time, please. Is your friend Mary by chance? Huh? How'd you know? Oh, um, hi Mary. I'm just, um, paying for both, for us both. So a dicks in their pockets for money, blushing. Oh here, I found this. How many of these can I give you? They hold up five lumps of sugar in their palm. <laughs> Olivia shakes her head. So it seems to be panicked. I'll pay. Uh -huh. No, no, Mary, put your money away. But Sawyer, I swear to buy—I swear to all the gods, this is the last time. Okay? Yeah. You bet. Thanks. You're the best, Louie. Mhm. Mm yeah, I am. You sit at the table. It doesn't look like Sawyer has anything to eat. No. Want to split this? Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. As you eat, there are, you see that eyes tracking your sandwich carefully, unable to stop staring. No, oh, no, don't slow down. Sorry, let's talk about something else. Um, they swallow hard and avert their eyes. Just have some. Are your more forceful invitation? So it takes half and wolfs it in two bites. Uh, thanks. Good stuff. Here, um, uh, I want you to have these, okay? Get five. You give you five. A few sugar lumps. You awkwardly stuff them in your pocket. Pocket. So it smiles and pleased with themselves. Hey. I was looking online yesterday, and a lot of weapons in Verona Beach are getting chipped lately. Mm. Maybe there's something about the dry summer that makes them a uh, brittle? Maybe someone's doing it. What, chipping us on purpose? A cereal chipper? I'm not sure the, what the point would be. I hope they're not targeting students in particular. That'd be so creepy. Toya's eyes wander back to your plate, where only crumbs remain. A wildcat growl erupts from under the table. Is there an animal's loose in here? After a moment, you realise it's Sawyer's stomach. Um... Oh, jeez. Sorry, jeez. Even after you shared your sandwich with me, to be honest, I can't afford to eat much. I had a, jo a good job for a while, and I get free rent from my mum, but it's hard. How do people keep f people afford eating anyway? Is everyone rich? Restaurants are so expensive. They rip people off. Scones only like cost 10 cents of flour and 10 cents of butter. I'm in business class, and it seems. Someone could disrupt that market easily. <laughs> Tell the middleman, buy the ingredients yourself. I could make an app that tells you how tells you how to make a dish like a restaurant would. You'd save costs by not paying waiter or hostess to boot too. Boom, what do you think? You just really? invented cooking. Oh yeah, cooking, that's what it's called. Uh, this is so dumb. Also dumb. I don't know, I hate business stuff, to be asked. I'm more into history class. I was just taking it easy for credits, but everyone in class is so competitive. Mm. I have to come up with a business idea for my semester project, and this is all I got. My next step would be documenting the process, cooking, to use the technical term. <sighs> but I don't even know how to boil an egg. I tried once and ended up with a black husk. I know the basics. That's a thousand times more than me. Will you show me how, please? That would be amazing! I'll do a little more research on egg boiling first, but then I'll hit you up for lessons. If I bring in the ingredients, could we... Does it... Will you? Do you think? <laughs> I should do pass it on! Oh no, Jen, no! <laughs> what? So it takes breath and carries the courage. Uh... Is it a date? Uh -huh. We'll see. Okay, I'll um try to play it cool, yeah? Uh, I gotta get to history. Let me know when you're handling, heading to the dungeon. I did a, I did some first aid on my craft blade, and I'm ready to fight again. Can you? Can I, Bonesnick? I think. 
Okay, heavy attack throws glaive, mobilizing enemies. They can still attack. Oh, fun. Bye. Talk to you soon. I head home. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Indeed. <laughs> that's like a, to boil an egg, you need to use a lot of water, like a whole potful. So that was my problem. You have a lot to learn. You bet. <laughs> Oh god, they are a disaster. <laughs> okay. Should we go to the dunge? The lower is there. We'll take Valerie. Oh dear, oh dear. The Rosa. Dungeon fear on Unidentified. Ew, the floor is sticky. <laughs> sticky floor! Margarita! <laughs> Monster mugs! <laughs> Monster margaritas! I'll go around so I don't pick up the beverages. Ooh, laser! Laser things! Can you mind? Yes, done. I knew we could do it. Okay, let's step back, go get my... Those two beverages I left on the floor? Oh, the one, one of them anyway. <laughs> Don't need both. So yeah. How far did Jen get then when she was playing? Into the loot sack. I put it succulent recipe. Not this far. Fair enough. Hugs. And racing game recipe. Hugs and hugsy hugs and kisses if you want them. Ooh, another weapon. Find a set of bladed brass knuckles. Looks like some of the claws are missing. An engraving on the side reads pocket. Ah, you stopped when I came on call. Fair enough. Hmm. Must be a nickname of some kind. <coughs> Meow? It's a cat! It's, it it touched the metal begins to stretch and glow. Gibbs, kisses and It's literally a cat! <laughs> it's a cat! <laughs> wow. Off a hand to sniff. Yeah, the cat eyes you warily but allows you to come closer. You find a phone number on his collar. You put it to f into your phone before he scampers off. <laughs> the weapon's a cat! Business suit amethyst. Yeah. My cat was missing a while, for a while and just reappeared. Is this phone number in his mouth? So I guess you found him? Thanks if so. I was really worried. No problem. Text me and I'll let him out. Get next to room. Let him out. Looks like he's headed to the park. Little killer. <laughs> it's a cat! Cash machines two options. Liquidate or access. What's the success doing? Ah, okay. Access brings the... Oh, they could boom! That's a 
Big stereo speaker thing. Thank you. We've got shiny sun hat. Okay, let's continue onwards. Woohoo! I'd high five you if I could. Another vault. And bowler hat. Fresh air down here. And that's the most magical, fantastical thing I've seen yet. She breathes in deep, filling her lungs with warm night air. Would you like to offer a gift? Does she like her husband look here? She does. Ah, thanks. You didn't have to. You're gonna love summer nights. Or do you? What's your favourite season? Ball. I do love being wrapped in scarves and feeling cool breeze. Feeling a bit wistful. I guess I love all sorts of seasons. All the seasons. At least in the places that have them. Unlike Verona Beach. Maybe someday we can go on a trip together. Somewhere with the exotic climate. But first we have to survive this dungeon. Okay. Kisses for you. Gib, gib, gib. All the kisses. Okay, let's return. Here, where the um, ATM was. Let's climb into the darkness. Smunch! Oh. Shot the heart of Verona. Mm -hmm. so, I can get steel for 10. Buy 3 steel. Okay. Let's buy some dark essence and then buy a holy essence. Find all the cracking components. Oh, neat! I got all the cracking components now. As you wish, stay safe. Get on my face already. Can't you see I'm shopping here? <laughs> Let's change my weapons. Try someone else. Let's try out Sawyer. See how they do. Open you. I just have so much good stuff. Yeah, we got a cat recipe. And in here, dark eye learner recipe. Ooh, fun. Okay, let's continue on it. Smack! Smack them all! Okay, continue onwards, get this money. Money, 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 money. It. You're amazing, or at least you're amazing. <laughs> okay. And in here we've got fried mackerel recipe. Oh my. What's this area? This is for Chewy. Oh my. Whoa. Sorry, it's hard widen. Would you like to offer a gift? I do not have a gift for him. This reminds me of a valentine bear I gave to my friend in 4th grade. It was really cute. Like a little white teddy bear. Holding a red heart. I thought it was just a nice toy she'd like. The other kids thought it meant I had a crush. They teased me and her endlessly. I found her the bar like in the trash. I found the bear in the trash. We didn't talk much after that. They fall silent looking at the uh, heart balloons. 
So, uh, what is this? Just nice to be or are you demon? I mean... It's just a nice place. Oh, well, good. I'm glad that's clear. Then, no misunderstandings. Thanks for ringing me. It's nice to be with you. Here. Careful when you swing me. Wouldn't want to pop a balloon. Pop the balloons! <laughs> I want to pop the balloons! <laughs> Down we go. La 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 from Verona Beach, so maybe I'll see them here someday. Even though they're, not, even though they're famous, I'll go with you. Ah, if I manage to get my hands on tickets, you'll definitely get my other one. I don't know how to dance, but good music makes your body move. You know, they give you a shy smile. Should we continue with into the dunge? A weird hand thing. I'm amazing! Oh! Lift! Okay, there we go. You're amazing, Jenny Jen! There we go. Best thing I've seen for free. Doesn't red roses best recipe? Ooh, fun. And in here we have. I wonder what the pr resale price would be. Ooh, a holy energy. Okay, keep going. Oh, there's a um, help there, so if I need it. There we go. Ta da! Another four complete. Take that, dunge! <laughs> ah! No, it's itchy! <laughs> okay, and here we've got. Three is the best price for everything. Clear eye right shadow recipe. Health and down we go. Next level. Uh, is this the boss floor? Yeah, he, he, he mentions it in the first in the first text you get from him. Oh, sorry, they mention it. It's the first text you get from him, from them. Along with their preferred pronouns. Silver ring recipe. Okay. <laughs> you both missed that. Ah, oh, hugs. Love letter recipe. Play the things suck. Okay. 
Okay. At least with this, I, at least with them, I can um, attack from the fire a little bit. Gosh, that was a pain. No, laser, why? No, and I died. F. Floor's completed. Secret found. Bonus tight turn together. 16! 17? Uh, uh. 80? Ooh. 19? 20? Oh god, I've got a lot of XP here. There we go. Sleep heavily. When it's morning, your eyelids feel sticky. They don't know how much they don't want to open. You remember today's your birthday. Another year closer to death, at least. I'm not alone. You think about all the friends you've made recently and you can't help smiling as you get up. You find a package outside your door? Wait. Thing for you? It's from your mum. And cool to the touch. It's a birthday cake. She must have schemed to make sure it arrived to refrigerated. A note says, to my only daughter on her special day. You're about to slice the cake when there's a knocking at the door. Answer it. You only set the cake aside on it and go out to the door. Happy birthday! I uh brought a friend. I hope that's okay. Happy birthday! I heard there might be cake. <laughs> cake! <gasps> Your mom said said she sent over a cake and we brought her some little presents. Nothing special. Oh. Yeah, don't get too excited. I didn't have much warning. And I don't like shopping, so well, you'll see. It's a tradition for the birthday girl to use a weapon friend to cut the cake. You offer it, Valeria? Yeah. Sure, of course. I'm a bit short, but if Mary wants me to, I'm in. What do you think? I mean, we don't have to follow through. Let's do this. This is it. The greatest challenge we face together. Geometry. <laughs> yes, geometry. Uh, Valeria feels warm and confident in your hands. You slice. You carefully slice the cake into even pieces together. Mmm, that special birthday cake flavour. So vanilla, so sugar. Huh. Yeah, a bit too sweet, but it kind of makes me crave for a bit, crave a bit of whiskey, even this early in the day. But now's a good time to give Mary my little gift. Here. Hands you, uh, Valeria hands you a small canvas. It's colourful painting of Verona Beach. Oh, neat. I made it really quickly. It's okay if you don't like it, honestly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Happy birthday. If you decide you don't like it, feel free to give it back. Or sell it, or paint over it. Uh. <laughs> don't you dare paint over it, Mary. If you don't like it, I'll take it. Eh, if you'll insist. I have plenty of work left over. Uh. Anyway, here, I've got you a little something too. Phoenix cat recipe. Get you an envelope and you open to find an assembly instruction for Phoenix cat. It's a kit. The hat took a little... looks a little dorky on me, but it sounded useful for the dungeon. Alright, cool. Yeah, you should... Be thankful I didn't go with socks. Or a whetstone. Huh? A whetstone? Jeez, one lady first. Those are personal. <laughs> I mean, it'd be comfortable. I'd be comfortable with Mary, but I'd rather she picked it out for herself. Uh... Okay, okay, I get the message. Remember, I didn't get one. Crisis of Ursus. <laughs> anyway, Mary, you're on another, you're another year older and wiser. Congrats. I'm glad you shared this birthday with us here in Verona Beach. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Finally, there's someone around I can share secrets with. Uh. What kind of secrets? None of your business. That's what kind. Ciao. Larry kisses you on the cheek on the way out. You close the door behind them and consider how to spend your day. On your way home, you find a few ingots of steel on your doorstep. They're heavy and cold, but wrapped in a ribbon. An attached note no, reads for Mary. You carry it inside. I wonder who that's from. Recent game recipe. Fun. Racing game. Find a snaz. Ooh. Fried mackerel? Sure. Potted succulent? Dark either? Let's just craft everything. Blue Rose Shadow. Sun Hat. Phoenix Cat. Night Armor. Pikarumi. Dozen Red Roses. And. I just need the silver ring, which is plastic and wire, and bowler hat, which is plastic. 
I'm the console unlock. You're not allowed to access the console in your apartment. Ooh, fun. Mira? Let's see. Anime t shirt. Maybe Senpai will notice me. <laughs> business shoot manifest for business energy stockholders and stuff. <laughs> this is what the ideal body looks like it. Oh, goodness me. No. Uh, uh, oh, there's more. And night armor. Waiting for a night. Tired. <laughs> Being your own knight inspired. Uh, blue flower. Phoenix cat revives you once. This, the end is just the beginning and sun hat. And then he's got stunned when he damaged you. Yeah, neat. Console? <gasps> That's a bug road! Zoom zoom! <laughs> it's a race! <laughs> Gotta go fast! <laughs> Gotta go fast! Gotta go faster! Faster! And we'll get at least third! Come on! No! Fourth! Try again. This time with where I know the controls. And therefore I'm not that far behind. <laughs> faster, faster, faster! Uh, this game is weird. <laughs> First place, woo woo! What's normal like? Woo! Ah, uh, it's longer. Okay. You can't go over water. Which you think you would be able to since you've. We're flying, but oh well. Uh, keep going. Around the bit. Oh no 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 no! I'm not losing. <laughs> what do you think of this little mini game? <laughs> Okay, and... Yeah! Anyway, let's go off. <laughs> it's quirky, fun! <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's leave. Oh, right. Hey, can I see someone want to join me when I paint my new mural? You can be my muse. Will Jake be there? Nope, just you and me. What do you say? Sound good? Really? Wow, nice. Midnight, the museum. Wear dark clothes. Seriously, though, black. I heard it's a special day today. It's the exact middle of summer. Crazy, huh? I guess that means your trip is halfway over. I guess it also... It's also your birthday or something. So, this isn't your steal? Nope, not me. Whatever you're talking about. JK, I couldn't help myself. Enjoy. Don't eat too much cake. Hey, I have good news. I think you're going to want to hear. Come by my stop and we can make a trade. Ugh. I was looking at what to cook, and this might be a little complicated. The new hotness, grilled cheese. What do you think? Is it too hard? Can we do it? It'll be fine. If you say so, on my way. Okay. Let's see what the idiot has. Eric is the worst. Fun Eric reading book. Oh. Okay. It brightens up as you approach. Careful, look close. It's so good to see you. Really? You look great. Fit. The dungeon must be giving you a good workout. 
You have the information? As far as those his eyes seem cold and distant. Hmm. Strictly business, hmm? I was getting to that. Well, I thought you might want to know what I discovered about the dungeons in my research. Hmm. Did you know they manifest your fears? The monsters actually come from inside you? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Oh, well, you don't have to be all huffy about it. I was thinking, since the dungeons are all about your fears, then could we just, like, ignore them and go and they go away? Seems to have been like it'd be safer, too. Oh, goodness me. But even if you want to fight monsters, the fact that it's your fears suggests you have control. Hmm. Seems we could even speedrun dungeons if we wanted. Skip straight to the bottom and fight the boss monster immediately. I figured out how. But, Greg paused to you and looks at me now with mischievous skin. I said this would be a trade. How about... I'll tell you about my speech for the low, for the low, low price of one kiss on the cheek. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh, fine. What about a smile? Just one, pretty, one nice, pretty smile. Fine. Beautiful. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? You should share that smile more often. Oh, you're into the deal, fulfilled. It is what I know. If you decided not to be afraid, I think the boss would manifest itself immediately. Ah. You just scrape straight to the bam, bam, no problem. That's not how it works. You try to explain that fears and anxieties are more complex than just deciding not to. And needing time. Ugh. Ugh, I knew you'd try to make excuses. Everyone always does. Why can't people just decide to feel better about themselves? It's what I do. Hmm. Well, at the, very, at the very least, I'd advise not inventing any new fears. It might make more dungeons appear. Eric wins at you, please for himself. Asleep ships. Interview, graceful water. <laughs> Enemy. Uh, the stranger stares at you with intensity bordering on excitement. Ah! Eric widens, eyes uh, widen as he quickly shakes his head. No. Yeet Eric into space, I agree. <laughs> no, not an enemy. Return to your chief. The stranger slips away with a rustle of silk. Hmm. That's my friend. Don't worry about him. He's under control. You look ill. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. That's all I want to say about it. I've been very generous with my information, but even I need privacy. Hmm. I'm paid for my knowledge uh, as a professor, after all. Don't take that for granted, hmm? Good day. Eric finally reopens his book and advises you until you leave. A few moments later, Sawyer arrives with Gracie's. I was told which for his speed to follow, so I got a few different things. Going through the bags, you find five different cheeses and various fruits. You can see fear inside his eyes as they look at the expensive ingredients. Let's make it simple. Alright, simple I can do. Probably. Maybe. Actually, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. We'll see what happens. You show them how to grate cheese and melt butter into a pan. That wasn't so hard. Next step says we need some kind of weird TBSP cheese. What's Tubspa? Two specific butter specimens? That's not right. It's a measurement. Oh, big spoon seems easier to remember. So, like snuggling in. Like, like in snuggling. Sorry if I ask dumb questions. I feel like I can be honest with you. And you ask, I ask you anything. It seems so nice. But are you secretly judging me? Nope. Good. I get judged enough in class. I'm worried of sick. I'm sick of worrying about points. Oh, wait. I know I can help. Hmm. Now, girls, there we go. Now, ooh, Kasari, Kasari, thanks for the raid. The us shout you out. Hey, Kiwi, how you doing? What were you playing? You are you are you doing now, stream? How was your thing? You sent her over to raid me. <laughs> Thanks, Kiwi. Hey, hey. Making some adorable art. Fun, fun. I'm just playing, um... <sighs> I'm playing Boyfriend Dungeon. <laughs> yeah, well, you're welcome. Yes, Kiva, my darling. <laughs> uh, playing Boyfriend Dungeon, dating weapons, <laughs> and exploring dungeons. <laughs> yeah, now... Yeah, there we go. Now I can cut the bread and the cheese. Uh, <laughs> uh, like all the things are adorable. Uh, I prefer a bread knife. <laughs> oh, of course, that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, Sawyer seems to be a disaster in the kitchen. They are very much a disaster. 
<laughs> they smile sheepishly as you cut the bridge with an appropriate blight. <laughs> I dated one of those once. She was really nice. Maybe if there were um, a moth made of bread, then I'd be set. You assemble the cheese on the bread and put it in a fire frying pan. So, random question. Did you go to college? Um, yeah, but I dropped out. Oh, wow. How would your parents feel about you dropping out? My mum would go berserk. My mum's supportive. So cool. I can't imagine my mum forgiving that kind of thing. <laughs> Sorry if my question was random. I didn't mean to pray or anything. I wanted to ask because you seem like you have it all figured out. Just go to show. You don't need the greed to be cool and smart. Wait, do you smell that? Is our baby burning? Looks like the heat was on high, even though the recipe said medium heat. You have created a burnt mess. Aw, oh, man. What? I can't even make the simplest grilled cheese, really? I feel so stupid. I hate this. Maybe this is all pointless. Let's try again. Oh, do we have to? Your encouragement seems to calm down. They look at you and take a deep breath. Okay, okay, I can do this. Medium heat. You carefully reassemble the sandwich and put it in the frying pan on medium heat. <laughs> you carefully flip the sandwich. The scent of melting cheddar fills the air. You have created a delicious grilled cheese. Love rank two. Woo. They fr when they frozen, return faster. Or when they return from being frozen, do damage to all enemies nearby. I'll do that one. Wow, cooking is real transformation! Way more magical than people turning into swords! The wolf down their sandwich a bit too quickly, burning their mouth. Oh dear. Ow, ow, ow! Phew, that was amazing. Plus the ingredients for this was like... Three dollars! If I cook instead of going to the restaurants, I might be able to afford a textbook someday. someday. I'd like to offer a gift. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. Dark eyelid. Gosh, sure. Fried mackerel. Fishy, but in a good way. Um, give him the fried mackerel. Score! I mean, um, thanks so much. This is pretty cool. Blow his phone beep. They glance it in their dry drops. Uh. Bridge! There's been a roses of Venus flying in. Ver Verona Beach, I gotta go. Roses of what? Well, I. Oh, I know a rose of Venus. Uh, let's not, because that's a secret and. Uh, Veroni, uh, Veroni would get uh, very um, miffed. That's what? Whoa. Seriously, the coolest artist in the world. They graffitied the Louvre. Louvre? I'm not sure how to say it. The French Museum. But they graffiti for good. Stuff like, stuff with a real message, but dreamlike. Truth and beauty bombs, you know? Anyway, I gotta go see New York for myself. Later, chef. Soya bundles up the leftover cheese and cheeses and hurries out. Uh, they are adorable. A disaster. Adorable. So, uh... Let's check the phone. Whoa, that sleep... That girl cheap put me in the sleep coma. They should have sell it as a sedative. Taste your sedative in the West. <laughs> Glad you liked it. Very much. <laughs> Just have to not eat one before a test. <laughs> Oh, but, but I forgot to tell you. I was so pumped that yesterday that I made breakfast all by myself. The egg wasn't blackened at all. <laughs> they didn't mess up. I cut the bread myself too. <laughs> I feel so powerful. Rats. Oh. How are you, Kiwi, if you're still here? And how was your stream, Kasari? Uh, let's go see if we... Sleepy. Aw, oh, hugs, hugs. Let's go see you. The museum looks deserted. When you reach it in the dark, it looks somehow forbidding. It's quiet. Too quiet. You shiver involuntarily. Maybe that's why you nearly jump out your skin when a hand descends on your arm. Another hand covers your mouth as you pull down an alley. <laughs> Shh. It's just me. You startled me. The Roses of Venus have been doing graffiti for years. I've been doing this for years. You're in good hands. I promise, this is going to be fun. Hugs for you, Kitty. Um, I, um... Varelia looks quickly. Her eyes glinting in the half-light. You look just so, um... <laughs> you look good. Thanks. Thanks. A nice like these. 
I feel wild. Free. A little abandoned. <laughs> Can't you feel it? Like there's something fast moving through you? Like you want to turn yourself inside out to show the world all the wonder inside of you. She pulls you into her arms without another word. You can hear her breathing. God, I love the way you smell. Oh my. Her lips touch your collarbones, the holler at your yeah. throat. And the way you taste. By the time she reaches your lips, you've forgotten your own name. Why you're here. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. Love you too, Kiwi. Mommy, mommy shark. <laughs> yeah. Will do. Valeria's foot jostles in the black duffel bag at her feet and it jangles. She springs back with a hiss and glances around. <laughs> You're no mommy. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Don't think anyone heard that. Lucky. <laughs> Your baby shark. Oh. I love you too, Cherry. And I love you too, Jenny Jen. Don't think anyone heard that. Lucky. She casts you a rueful look. We should focus on Roses of Venus business. Ever bring uh -huh. anyone else? Another civilian, you mean? Nope, you're my first. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> Baby shark do 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 do. How good this be? <laughs> yes, you, Jen Jen. Just brought her first fine art professor to. Uh, I had college to one of her murals once. She tried to convince her to accept it as a final project. Did, did it work? Not at first, but Jen convinced her. She's good at convincing people to do things for her. Lurila hefts the bag over her shoulder and points towards the fall of the museum. This is a good wall. See how nice and smooth it is? I've already primed it with satin paint. Takes up colour better that way. She zips up and opens the bag, revealing an array of spray paints. Spray paint cans, paint brushes, and paint. Pick a colour for me. I need inspiration. Okay, uh -huh. purple. Purple's right. But it's more than that. It's a mystery. Maybe even a bit more, bit magical. Valeria hefts the paint you choose. You chose. Juggling it from one hand to another. Love rank five. An attack in middle of a row. Ooh, fun. Her face is full. Almost preoccupied. She turns to look at you, and her eyes. For a moment, you almost feel alone, as though Valeria isn't with you. As if the world around you is tissue thin. Beneath is some something blazes with colour. Just as quickly, the moment uh -huh. gone. Did you feel that? Her voice sounds shaky. You're not sure what your voice will sound like when you say yes. Wish you could say that's never happened before, but right now, we have a job to do. She marks the surface of the wall, dividing it up into halves, then quarters. After a moment's hesitation, Valeria hands you the paint can. <laughs> You're my muse, aren't you? Paint something. Uh, shape. Let the, just let the wall speak to you. That's what I do. You take a deep, shape, deep breath and lift the paint can in your hand. When the sound of siren tear through the night all around you. Oh shit! She grabs a bag and free, your free hand and begins to run. A voice hisses softly from a nearby shadow. Psst, Valentine, this way. Over here, this way. Jake, what are you doing here? Saving your asses. What the hell do you think I'm doing here? You're here to save me? <sighs> I'm mostly here to save her, but I doubt she'd leave you behind. This is the Rose of Venus job, and I'm still a rose. I'm here to help. <laughs> Come on, Valentine. I'm on your side. I took your side against my own sister. And Mary, whatever's between you and me, I'd never betray Val. Huh? I believe him. A siren sounds too far too close for comfort. Do you want us to get arrested? We need to go. Fine. Start running, following Jake free swords, flying down the alleys. Soon you'll leave the signs behind. Only sound The only sound your own breathing and crunch of gravel. You can't stop your hands from shaking for some time, even after you arrive home. Oh dear fun. Whew! It's a good thing Jake was there. That was close. <laughs> oh dear me. Uh, can't craft anything else. No, I need plastic and wire. So I need to get that in the dungeon. Alright, the Pacifica Park. The cat. If you find a familiar orange cat, tail flicking, you sit on the bench nearby. His colour reads pocket. Remember him? Remember me? He seems not to hear you yawns. 
He then stands, stretches, looks seriously, seemingly ignoring me. Pocket quickly becomes distracted and tenses up, looking at the pond next to you. You follow his glaze, you see happy ducks, enjoying the weather. Pocket dare, stares intently at the ducks, mouth slowly falling open. Hi Zessie! Hope you're doing well. Gonna pounce? Oh, uh, let's quietly bird watch him. After a moment, he makes a small squeaky, squeaky sound, almost like he's talking. Level <laughs> rank 1! Finish with some mobilized enemies, but they can still attack. <laughs> the ducks, perhaps feeling watched, battle away further into the water. Pocket looks at you expectantly, tail looking. So, want me to pet you? Pocket narrows his eyes at you. Your skin in conversation is interrupted by someone approaching. Oh, a chance meeting. My favourite kind! <laughs> she leans over and kisses you lightly on her lips. Meow! And this must be your father and protector against the evil ducks. You're doing okay? Returning home in day two days. Ah, that's good. Pocket plating lazily in the sunlight, a soft purse starting oh. up. Can I hit him? If he lets you. She offers her hand to him, but he... This is when, he tries to move, when she tries to move closer. Fair enough. Everyone deserves to set their own boundaries, I guess. <laughs> Boo, indeed. But I just took a walk to clear my mind. Gotta get back to work. <laughs> and away from those ducks. You better be careful around them. Ciao. A kiss goodbye is prolonged. Sweet in the afternoon sun. When it ends, you open your eyes and realise Pocket has slipped away. You sit for a while longer, and then head home. So, what is it like living on the edge? You, you know, cause swords, kissing them, etc. <laughs> Very funny, your mom. Hi, Kisara, you're back, welcome back. Your laptop died to <laughs> died, oh dear. That sucks. Hope your, um, hope your stream went well. How was it, anyway? <gasps> yeah, we're doing well. And Sessie? So, you like it when my words have a dual meaning, huh? Get it? <sighs> Stop! <laughs> oh, come on. I'm being perfectly acceptable right now. Okay, I'm done. For now. <laughs> oh, dear. He's made it home safely. His claws look healed too. He's a good cat. He's too smart to be good. He's too many ideas and plans. I know I sound crazy, but... Oh, no, no, then, Zessie. <laughs> no, it sounds crazy, but never mind. It looks like he's ready to go again. Let him out. Was alarm, he came back inside. <laughs> Never mind. Next maybe next time. <laughs> uh, just like a regular cat, right? Right, um let's get a quick drink because I'm getting a bit thirsty. And let's head to Lav Rose. And I want the love uh, Valeria. And we'll go to Floppy. Rosa, dungeon fear unidentified. Most monsters at clubs aren't so obvious about it. Yeah, we can roll and attack at the same time now. We got a lot of money actually. Okay, so ah, laser one. I don't like the laser one. Spend it on you. Cat is better. Cat is greater than Eric's. Eric, yes. Very true there, Cherry. Even if the cat didn't like getting pet. Go. Oof. 
Feel like a break? <sighs> oh, this brings back memories. I dated a pool cue once, but it didn't work out. She was too little on the straight and narrow for me. She taught me a lot about playing pool though. My favorite variant is one pocket. Wanna try? Get the balls on the run, target the specific mm. pocket. But every knows what she's doing, but takes it easy on you. Sometimes it looks like she wants to say something. I tried to share. I told myself I wouldn't understand, but I can't help it. Here, follow my example. Valeria just to stance and reposition your fingers on the cue. Her hands are soft on yours. She lets you go with a smile. You play a bit more, your aim seems to have improved. That's better. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah. It doesn't red roses. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You didn't have to. I hope you can wield me with more pre uh, the same precision as that cue. Key. Yeah. Uh, I like the um I like the uh like the theming of the dungeons of the, they're filled with monsters the monsters are basically cleaned up your fears. Fine, got mans! $140, how good this be? Actually, I can find an ATM to go into the um, secret shop again. Love rank 5, leveling up. There we go. Dagger is just so easy to use. Finally, a monster free zone. Ooh, drinks! Now, what have we here? Would you like to offer a gift? Sure, she can have she can have some vodka. I know she doesn't like vodka. Nah, you can keep that. Thanks anyway though. Uh -huh. Oh, this bar has all the whiskey. A girl could use, get used to this. She slides behind the bar, pours a double shot for herself and raises an eyebrow for you. Sure, why not? Honestly, I think of many reasons, but let's pretend we're drunken masters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She pours you a drink and sips her own. Every muscle of her face relaxes in pleasure. Mm, just kidding. Drunken masses are always hand to hard hand to hand. No sharp edges. I'm just too dangerous for stumbling around. Wouldn't want to hurt you after all. She suddenly becomes serious. Um... Unless I have to, that is. You know, to protect my secrets. Of course. <laughs> she brings the salt away from the bar. Leaving the empty grass. Man's Cash me some two lessons. Liquidate or access. We'll go access. And that'll be my way down from this floor once I can beat it. Oh, that well. Ah. Done! Hand thing! Um. Lit things. Hey, keep going. <laughs> Very stressful. Now she's done. Now I could use the drink. <laughs> so she likes drinks, but she doesn't like vodka. Oh, what am I doing? Into the loot sack. Chocolate truffles recipe. Okay, that's that. And we continue forth. Heading back because I want to go into the shop. Secret shop. Going down into the darkness. Okay, can my steel, glue, dark. Uh, a 
think that'll be enough. <laughs> yeah, it seems I need craft materials there. Continue onwards. Oh goodness me! Living on the edge, that's us, yes, indeed. Okay, there's you, it's in here. Storm sign recipe. Fun, fun. And in here we've got... Money! And in here... Little break. Flopping into a seat feels good. You realise you're more tired than you thought. Oh, it takes a look out of you, doesn't it? Would you like to offer a gift? Sure, what? Oh, it's working, sure. Nice. Oh, thanks, you didn't have to. Maybe we've been pushing ourselves too hard lately. Ugh. Valeria still stifles a yawn. It's not too late to learn from our mistakes. It's safe. How about a quick nap? Cat nap. <laughs> Z. Valeria's lips quirk up into a fond smile. I'll stay in this shape just in case we get ambushed. Slips into her, uh, She slips into a hill and to... Her hit onto your hand and you soon do is off. When you open your eyes, Valeria is already up and her edges are gleaming. That's perfect. I'm all charged up. Let's go. E. Oh, wait, oh, there's exit here, which... Safe. Designer pods recipe. Ooh, fun. Oh, use it twice a Ah! Lip things! Rock died now, that one, huh? Yes. You could say that again. I'm holding her hilt well there, am I? Oh gosh. Monster things. Ooh, a futurist recipe. Been practicing? Oh goodness me! What do you mean by that? You'd love to hold my hill. Oh my! Oh my! Oh me! Starry night recipe. Oh, your laptop. Your laptop keeps kicking you out, ah. Uh -huh. That sucks. Hope things get better soon. Oh, I remember when I was used to, I was streaming on my laptop. A uh, spooky sign recipe. Yeah, we did it. There's that, and then there was something over here, actually. <laughs> Yay, Hugs Kasari! <laughs> Ooh! Find a shortcut. It's in here, we've got a night helmet recipe. Sure, what could go wrong? Challenge room! Girls, one hill. Oh no. <laughs> Chen dead. Ooh. 
Yeah. Neat. That's neat, anyway. I wondered what that was about. It's just a little side area. Oh, money down there. Money! Two dollars. Which I find weird. <laughs> oh, I've maxed her out, so let's change my weapon. Let's go with Pocket, the brass knuckles. Oh my goodness. Meow. <gasps> Just look at me, of course. <laughs> I'm not used. Oh, I can definitely tell I'm not used to this weapon. Meow. <laughs> oh no. Let's go here and then lure enemies in here. So yeah, lure them in one by one. That way I can deal with them easier. I am now thing. Let's see. Pocket eyes, eyes, eyes the heart blooms suspiciously. They symbolize love. You try to explain the symbolism, but Pocket seems skeptical of the song. Of it. He rubs his head hesitantly against your shin. Nya. Offer a gift? Uh, what could I give a cat that you might like? I don't think he wants anything. I got. You decided not to give a gift right now. You reach down to pet him, but he quickly transforms, dodging your affection. Ah. <laughs> Money for hilt holding. Oh, goodness. Hiss! No! Whew! That's that taken care of. I need to find some, um... I need to find some, uh, things... Help! Sniff! Fine gold chain recipe. And I died. Oof. Yeah, what's gonna happen? Level 21, level 22. Level 23. 24. Level 24. And I've leveled up pocket with. Can't wait for next week's hilt holding. Oh my! Boop boop. You stumble out the dungeon, tired and sweaty, breathing hard. Your weapon transform. Uh -huh. Pocket turns, fixate on a particular shadow. Uh -huh. A whispering hiss turns the underbrush as the shadow shifts. Shadows shift, slivering. Uh -huh. Oh, it's that person. Oh goodness, he's advancing towards you slowly. Hello again. The stranger smiles widely and takes another step closer. Your skin crawls. He raises his blade arm and swings it in an arc, around, narrowly missing you. Mew. Hiss. No. You split up and run into the night. It doesn't seem like he follows you, but you still lock your door behind you quickly when you arrive home. Cause this be who's um been um kidnapping the weapons. And putting them in the dungeons, chipping them. Did you do something about uh, so something I should know about? Like what? 
I don't know. Never mind. I know what happened to her. Sorry. One second. I have food! I'm back. <laughs> oh, thing. Oh, one sec. There's one thing you think. One little bit of ASMR. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna deny you it. <laughs> Nor I'm not gonna let you have the thing. Anyway, over here. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that, Jen, because I know you love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let him book out again. We live near Paradise Lost Cafe. Paradise Lost Cafe. So probably look around there if you want to find him. Mom. Huh? Can you believe you've already been in beach for in a beach for almost the summer? Most of the summer? I can. It feels like you've been Forever. I miss you. How's it going? What do you do today? Just kissing some swords. <laughs> Be careful. Swords are sharp. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself responsibly. You're only knowing once. I got a mini pizza and um, onion wings. Summer's almost over. I can't believe it went so quickly. Wait, what? You forgot? You're only here for the summer. The apartment lease is almost up. You'll have to fly home soon. Remember now? It was a good summer. <laughs> awesome, that was the whole point, right? Anyway, I have some news. You're probably busy, but Eric's been acting weirder than usual. Plus, I went by his shop the other night. And some weird lights and sounds outside. I think maybe he's up to something. Definitely. Once, once. I'm thinking we go over and just gather intel. You up for it? Okay, let's do it. Great, meet me outside the weapon shop. After it gets dark. Okay. Let's go out. Let's go to Paradise Lost for the cat. Munch munch. He's fine pocket sleeping and sunbathing in the corner of the cafe. His fur looks unbelievably really soft. Sounds like he's snoring a bit. Resist the temptation. Exercising superhuman restraint. You sit quietly nearby, waiting for him to wake up. Munch, munch. Olivia approaches. Hey. hey, Mary. Who's your friend? Wait, that cousin, that cat doesn't work here. At the sound, Pocket wakes up at his feet. Fear, uh -huh. fire rustling. Whoa, sorry, little guy. It was uh, cute a second ago. I love cats, but I wouldn't pet strays. They can, it can be very stre stressful for them. Wow. He's not a stray exactly. Mm. Well, he hangs out right here. I guess he has a collar. Someone must love him. I wonder if what he's doing out here. Pocket licks his paws and rubs his face. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's having a little bath. That's the cutest. Pocket stops looking to glare at Olivia. Sorry, I'll leave you two in peace. As soon as you leave, Pocket takes makes a small meal. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't have one, unfortunately. We decide not to give one right now. You stare into his big yellow eyes. He stares back. Off your hand. Pocket approaches your hand wearily, making eye contact with you the whole time. He probably decides to nose your hand, rubbing the the side of your head against your knuckle. Woo! He is a cute cat! <laughs> Enemies take extra time mobilized or stunned and mobilized. Oh, wow. Good mess making. Wow. 
The stops perking up curiously as the unheard signal. Something's caught his attention. Watch where he goes. He sinks outside and you lose track of him. After a few minutes later, you recover from his cracking door. Hissing and growling, Pocket sprints past at lightning speed. A rough looking street cat steps out the alley, looks around and goes back inside. Oh dear. You head home. <laughs> Pocket um, pissed off that cat he didn't eat. Let's make some stuff. I need plastic and wire and more plastic. My cat's acting weird. Lots of energy. Did you feed him anything? No? Huh, okay, well, he's really into fish now. Nah. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Oh, that's weird. I can't see the... Something's blocking it off the thing now. Um, designs, we've got... Storm sign condenser for understrike. Invoke Zeus, Thor, Set and Palyana to all at once. <laughs> and spooky sign. Kills most enemy. Let's go, let's go Thunder Strike, see what that does. <laughs> let's see what Jesse hunts at the um, shop then. The weapon shop is locked, but there's lights on inside. Look around, you don't Over see anyone. Here. You spot Jesse hiding behind a car. You duck into a shadow and join him. What are we doing? He's coming out. You hear the shop door open and take a peek. You see Eric and his friend conferring. Repeat your orders once more. I don't want any mistakes this time. Kill. No. No, no, no. No killing. Come now. Come on, focus. I'm glad I double checked. Watch. Yes. Watch Mary. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. A cookie for you. What kind of cookies do you like? Macaroon? Then attack Maylee. No. No, no. What about Oreos? Ah, this isn't going to work at all, is it? I love... I love... Yes, I know you love me. I created you. It's only natural. I love to kill. Oh. Well, that's unacceptable. I made you to obey me. I don't want you to hurt anyone. Nice. I mean, everyone has thoughts, but I don't actually want to hurt everyone, anyone. Nice. Ugh. Uh, fine, come back inside so I can fix you. You're in no state for a mission. He is literally the fucking worst. <sighs> the stranger hisses and turns to look straight at you. No. Target acquired. Masamune, inside, now. Masamune smiles widely at you, staring openly. Eric follows the crazy and I like Boyman. Mary and Jesse, what are you doing here? Uh, hey, Eric. Hey, uh, we just uh, happen to be in the neighborhood. You made this thing? His name is Masamune, but yes, he's been a work in progress. Aren't we all? He has some flaws in his design and some serious problems. Don't we all? Stop saying that. No, as it happens, I could use your help. I put a lot of effort in gathering the materials and smithing him. I think it's time to deactivate Masamune. How? I didn't think I put a the track button, if that's what you're asking. Hmm. That was your first mistake. I always put one of those in my Frankenstein monsters. Genius takes time. I have smithing technique that will make me rich. Here. Hmm. I knew there'd be kinks to work out in the design, but I thought they'd be sexy kind of kinks. I'd hoped it wouldn't come to this. Sorry, old boy. Eric puts the monster's shoulder, passes the monster's shoulder awkwardly. The katana creature continues staring at you, hungrily, shrugging away at Eric's hand. Uh... So you now want us to kill it? Uh, him? The thing's attention snaps to Eric. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh, Ixnay on the, uh, ill K. Masamune slashes at Eric, opens his arm, clo closing the arm open and closing flesh beneath. Ah! Oh dear. 
Eric shrieks and faints as Massimone melts into a nearby shadow. Jesse Niles 911. Oh dear me. Yeah, yes, there's an emergency. We need an ambulance. 542 T Black Lane. Help staunch the bleeding. You press on Eric's wounds, applying basic third aid. I'm dying, I can feel it. My life force is slipping away. I keep my weapon shop to you, Mary. Take good care of it. Remember no. me. Dude, you're going to be fine. Stop the dramatics. No. You don't know that. Maybe I'll end up dead any second. Then how will you feel? An ambulance pulls up. Remember me. A paramedic ushers him into the ambulance and drives away. Well, that could have gone better. At least we found something out. I could turn the creatures on the loose though. And we better be careful until it's found out. Mm. Why did Eric want it to... to watch you anyway? He's a stalker? Ugh, I guess he is, isn't he? Jeez, disturbing. Well, you don't have to interact with it anymore. He went away over the line. Keep yourself okay, safe, okay? And I will too. Except the dunge, I guess. That's just work. Are you going to be okay, Hermeline? I'm sorry I introduced you to that guy. At least you have really good looks under the door. I paid top dollar. I can come stay on the couch just in case you can need, if it'd help you sleep. No need. Alright then. Talk to you later, cuz. You head home. Oh dear me. You feel your heart leaping into your throat. Flooding. Urgent. You lock the door firmly and then double check and lock it again to be sure. Your head feels cloudy, foggy with thoughts that leap ahead of you. Farther than you can cast, faster than you can cast to them. You saw Eric get attacked. What would Katana do next? What is he capable of? No answers come to mind. Any questions? You put her around and waste time until the clock says you're ready. Really, you should try to sleep. You lie down reluctantly, reluctantly, bracing yourself with hours of tossing and turning. You take a few deep breaths, curling up into yourself. Eventually, you fall into the darkness sleep of deep sleep. In the morning, you find Jesse anxiously scrolling on his phone. Hey, cuz. Sorry I let this off in. There's been a bit of emergency. You might want to sit down. Oh, you're already sitting. Good. Um, so, nobody's answering their phone. Isaac, Sunder, Valeria, nobody. All my weapon friends are weirdly silent this morning. What does that mean? I don't know. I was hoping to figure it out before you woke, but here we are. This is... that's weird. What if... what if Katana got to the mall somehow? Jesse knocks at the door. Who is it? Don't really lock the hold. Got a lifetime guarantee on from the locksmith. Joe looks through the people. Phew, it's just Samantha. She's probably a little weirded out too. I'll be right back. He unbolts the door and steps out. You quickly lock the door after him. Uh, lock out the pit. You see an empty stairwell. Weird. Where'd Jesse go? You realise, despite all your striving, you're alone. Everyone is gone. Maybe forever. How do I fix this? You remember all the times you pushed someone away or made yourself less likable? You laughed at the wrong times. You asked yourself wrong, the wrong questions. You were too quiet or too loud. To fix it, you'd have to become a totally different person. Is that even possible? You hear a hissing and jump to realise Katana is standing next to you with a smirk. <sighs> Thirst. I can fix this. You grow in power and strength as you decide this is a wife fight worth having. A fight worth winning. Katana shrinks back from your newfound resolve. You rush to meet Katana and demand answers from your missing for your missing weapon friends. He melts into darkness. You chase him for what feels like a long time until you're panting with exertion. You wake up with a trace of sweat beading on your back. Was that just a dream? Through a series of pinches, you determine the dream is over and you're really awake now, probably. Take a deep breath and feel a clarity thrill through you from scalp to fingertips. You take another deep breath. Whatever happens, you're ready. We gotta do something about this monster on the loose. Especially before you fly home. Gonna be the end of the southern before you know it. When is my flight? Too soon. We gotta hurry. A little bit. I'll try grill airy. He's in the hospital, but that means he can't run away. We've been taking I've been taking blackness from classes. Maybe you can use that? We'll let you know if we find anything out. Oh dear, this is uh, 
getting rather worrisome. Just shopping. Yes. Let's just buy all the clothes. All the clothes, yeah. Right, I need. Don't need a glass. Do we need glue? I'll buy some glue. Okay. Thank you. We can't buy anything from Naked Steel anymore. We've got the apartment. Let's see, what can I craft? Chocolate truffles. And fedora. And that. And Starry Night. And I need wire for the rest of these. Let's wear that. That is the feet. More carry more signs with few beverages in here. Yeah, there we go. Shall we continue with La Rosa then? Let's use Soya. Go down to floor 7. Dungeon Fear unidentified. We should probably hurry. I still have homework to do tonight. Oh, fun. Continue forth. No break, it's just what I need. <laughs> ah, no indeed! Oh. Fancy, I've never been to a very important person past a vem past a velvet rope. Though I don't know if this counts. Really, there is a rope, but mm. is it really a VIP section if there isn't a bouncer? There are monsters. Yeah, but the monsters didn't exactly last in or check and list of names. Oh well. They sat into the cushion and relaxing the best they can. So what now? What do you do in a VIP section? Do you sit here being very important? Would you like, would you like to offer a gift? Sure. Chocolate truffles. They love the chocolate truffles. Yes, yes, yes and yes. Yes to all of them and any others you might have. Uh... This place is kind of boring. Let's go back to fighting. What do you say? <laughs> oh, they love the uh, truffles. Okay, so... Thunderstorm happens around me, that's good to know. Okay. Look how big my health bar is. I'm getting a lot of money from this dungeon. We're amazing, or at least you're amazing. Woo. And we got McQueen Perfume recipe. recipe. Fun. Uh, let's change my weapon. We'll go back to. We'll go to. Isaac. Ah. Ah. No, no, 
no, go away, go away. There we go. Oof. Yeah, I'm just being a bit too careless there. Precision can save us. Oh, come on. Okay, let's continue, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this game too much. Go away, go away, go away. Yeah, that's one beverage. There. Oop. It's alright to let you go down now and then. Now, here's an ed edifice of value, at least. At last. Within this e erotic wasteland. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy a good performance. What's your favorite spot? Salt. Opera? Lectures? Dance. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense given your natural phys physical grace and ease. I do enjoy a good show ballet or mo contempor modern contem contemporary. The energy is marvelous. It's all about the emotion. Look at this. The humanity. Right. No, not just humans perform. I read that. Ra I've re I read that ravens have what, have what appeared to be. Story circles, storytelling circles. Maybe we should invite some ravens on stage and see what they have to, to say sometime. Oh goodness, I got hiccups. Maybe we should get a task of hand. Would you like some vodka? Uh, you know me so well. Thank you. Yeah, he got some vodka. Lasers. I hate these lasers! I hate the ranged enemies! There we go. Your form is improving. Nice. And... Summer dress. And downstairs we go. The rows are deep. I can't remember I can parry. Ah, finally. A place with taste. I thought it was impossible in the dungeon. This bar won't have the best wines, but perhaps we can at least get a digestive... Ah, perfect. He pulls a bottle out for him to create us under the bar. Here's a lovely Cordomaro. Not a Maro at all once. You see, at all, you see. But a wine ap uh, ap aperitif with blessed thistle. Mm -hmm. I do wonder what cocktails an expert bartender might put it into. Let's make one. Aha, uh -huh, there's the bottle of Saimaya. Well then, let's see what you do. You pull some of the liquors and liqueurs. So together, you s select a few. There's no stirring spoon, so here, use me to stir it. And then we'll see. You stir it and have a taste. Or well, you almost spit it out, it's like some... Someone caught a cosper into a handful of dirt. Well, we tried. In respect, it's a waste of fine cardamara. But we learned in the process. Let's leave the bartender to the bartenders, shall we? Would like to offer a gift? Ah, no. So I don't have to give a gift right now. Uh, talents lie elsewhere. Let's see, travel recipe. Travel guide. Travel guide recipe, there we go. Okay, this dungeon... Now this part thinks that big spook, big of uh, green speakers. Yes, that's it. 
Halo recipe. Useful, I hope. Oh, I died. Right. Level twenty five, and I leveled up with Isaac. Travel guide. I'm at the hospital, by the way. Not that you care. Jesse said not to worry. Now I'm ready. You've gotten so strong and independent this summer. I'm still your mum and I'm still here for you. So, is something wrong? I'll handle it. Oh no, dot 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 dot. Okay, but just, I want to say, everything's related. You know, you probably know who's hurting you. Bring the fight to their store step. If you decide just to hide in your apartment until the time comes time, that's okay too. <laughs> Nyaw, thanks. Ha ha. You're coming home soon. My near death experience made me realise I have to come clean. What did you do? It's hard to know where to start. I stole parts of weapons, of people, to make Masamune. A chip from a dagger, a pin from a laser bit, saber, and so on. I'd fallen in love with each one, but they turned me away. All of them. As they rejected me, I felt like they took a part of me when I was with them. So I took a part of them. I thought I'd reshape it into something new. Something beautiful. But I knew with my heart better than uh, But it knew my heart better than I did. So it became a monster. You're the monster. Hey. You're right. I deserve that, but I'm sorry. I really am. You don't know what it's like being unloved. I really love so you. You haven't been cast aside over and over and over. I'm a monster! <gasps> Rude! That's not my fault. Sorry. Sorry again. I shouldn't make excuses. I don't deserve your pity. I'll figure out how to put things right somehow. Gosh, he's a thing. Hey, so the dunge, right? That means you work in the gig economy. I guess so. Cool. Okay. I have an assignment from my economics class. If you'd have a minute, I'd like to interview you. Come to Paradise Lost when you can. <laughs> yeah, you're coming home soon. I can probably can't, I should probably hide it, but I can't wait. <laughs> Mom, chill. <laughs> How could I possibly? I'm gonna see you. But you better not be thinking of staying there forever. I mean, I support you becoming fearless and independent, but you gotta come home first, okay? I miss you too much. <laughs> I know, Mum. <laughs> Okay, I'm interested in you. Come home now and then. Baby bird, please. Yeah. It's been a while since we sparred and my office has been quiet lately. How about a fencing lesson here? On guard. You owe me a drink for the other night and I miss hanging out just like 
humans. Dark red is fun, but not as fun as your lips. Come to my studio? Yeah. I'm there now. So, I know you're leaving town soon, but I think I know how to do the Eat Master. Which, by the way, now that I've looked it up, uh, Eric's name in this monster, Masamune, is Ridic. Somehow, somewhere out there, there's a gorgeous Japanese man called Masamune. But this weirdo, I'm just going to call him Katana. Anyway, here's the plan you beat him up. That's it. Well, okay, there's one other element. We're going to hello Eric's into Eric, uh, Katana into Eric's fall, where he was made, and I'm going to do some magic, blacksmithing magic. Weaken him, and you can spring out and fight him, okay? You know magic? <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking blacksmithing classes. We'll see. Keep your weapon friend sheathed as a surprise. You know how weird Eric gets around weapon folks? When weapon folks are around, it'll probably be a pretty... Tough fight when make sure you're ready. Like ready. Super ready. Like train twelve years for this moment ready. I'll be in a hurry. Better careful than dead, but don't actually take twelve years, I guess. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Feels like a year since I dropped you off the airport. That's been so quiet without you. What do you want to eat when we get home? My favourite. I made pizza it is. See you soon! Okay, let's go to the art studio to go date Valeria! Jake's at the studio talking to Valeria when you hey. arrive. Hey Mary! Valeria gives his hands a squeeze and doesn't look away well from your eyes when she says, Say hi Jake! Huh. Hi Jake! Valeria glares at him until he drops his gaze. You're gonna try and be friends with each other. I saved both of you at the museum job, didn't I? Should count for something, especially since I wasn't invited. Ah. That was my decision, Jake. You must have expected it with the way you've been acting. I'm Rosa Venus, Lantine. You should have told me about it. There's a moment between, and you almost feel like you're intruding. Ugh. All right, I should have said something. I just wanted to show Mary what we, Mary what we do. Then it turned into a disaster. Do a cops next time? Do a cops next time is actually our model. Well, it isn't, but it should be. <laughs> Jake shoves his hands into a pocket and clears his throat to catch your attention. I have something to tell you, both of huh? you. I spoke to Jess, my sister, and she wants you back, Val. What? Jake rushes on before you can interject further, places a placating look on his face. Not as we were before, as partners. She wants to be ro us to be the roses of Venus again. Just me, you, me, Jess, and her too. It takes a moment to realise he's gesturing at you. You look at Valeria and she looks as shocked as you feel. What? You're important to Val and you can keep a secret. <laughs> Jake grins his sharp his knife grin and cocks an eyebrow. So what do you say? Wanna join the Roses Venus? Uh I mean sure. Look at release passes over Jake's face, he gives you a genuine grin. <laughs> you won't credit, it, we're gonna be amazing together. Uh... Don't let Jessica get here carried away. We're staying over on a beach for now. I have a life here. Tell her mm -hmm. that. And tell her I'm happy. And tell her I'm in love. <laughs> Jake looks between the two of you and shakes yeah. his head. I'll tell her. Take care of yourself, Valentine. He turns and gives you a gruff nod. And you too. The bell above the door rings and Jake, as Jake departs, leaving just you and Valeria in her studio. How's it feel being a Rose of Venus? Not all that different. She gives you a warm smile. You might have to wait for another adventure. At least until the cops come look, stop looking in our direction. Valeria looks at the, towards the door where Jake was standing by himself. Um... I have something I want to say, but first, take this. She gives you a small but heavy wooden box. You're you having to find a quartz whetstone. <laughs> it's a symbol of how you make me sharper, better, stronger. With a whetstone, you're a master wielder, and you gain double love with all weapons, unlimited by love rank. Oh my, fun! She smiles ever so slightly. Jake and Jessica. The roses of Venus. All of that messed me up for a long time. Moving here. Painting. Making new friends. Falling in love again. It helped me heal. Her hands find yours. Fingers intertwined as she leans into you. You share a kiss easily. Without thinking of hesitating or hesitating. Hesitation? As if you've already done so a thousand times. 
She really is, is a little sly into your lips. And you feel her smile. I finally feel ready for something new. Love rank 6. Rolling hurts nearby enemies or do damage in an area automatically at the end of a roll. I'll get that one. Larry ducks behind the counter before you can answer and puts out brushes and paints. Do you mind if I sit and paint you just for a little while? Make you, you look good. You always look good. <laughs> you sit for her. You sit for her, watching as the line between Valeria's eyebrows crinkle in concentration. <laughs> a warm silence is interspersed with laughter as she brings you to life on her canvas. Ciao. Sorry. Eventually, you head home. You've reached maximum love with Valeria. Woo! Fun, fun. We've been from some shut hair. Pretty confident no duck will ever come between us. Your voice is back. Woo! Nice, Anna. Or, I mean, other humans. They also won't. It's a nice feeling. Trusting again. I won't let you down. Whoop, whoop, indeed. Even if you did, I wouldn't let you go that easily. You might be leaving for a beach soon, but I'm a traveller too. I'll find you. Don't go without saying goodbye, okay? Let me know if you want to pop back into the dungeon sometime. He fun. What's that I thought of saving is permanent for some reason? Adorable. No! Gosh. You find Sawyer and Olivia sharing your textbook and comparing Hi. books. Oh good, you made it. Olivia, meet Mary. Hey! Oh, we already know each other a little bit. We hang out here. In fact, funny. Oh, Mary fits the bill in a, a gig economy worker with college education. She fits the assignment, so let's start the interview. Meow. Oh, kitty. We should interview you instead. You're a gig economy worker. Does he have a degree? I'm not sure a count, cat cafe counts as a gig. He gets room and a board, you know? Anna definitely is cute and adorable. Hiss. The cat wanders away. Huh? Sawyer, how could you be so rude to that poor, poor exploited kitty? Hey, if you want to start a cat, you know I'm on board. But we have homework to do. Okay, okay, uh -huh. So, maybe. How much do you think a college education helps someone find work better in the dungeon? Not at all. Well, Olivia throws her brown a little. Okay, we all know it's a dangerous job, but do you get any benefits from working in a job? I meet new people. That would be true of any job. It's not really the kind of benefit we mean. Mm. Workers get health or life insurance, unemployment pay, minimum wage, even a company car if the job requires it. job requires it. This isn't that kind of job. Well, okay. Well, Carl, what opportunities for advancements do you have? Uh, I try to go deeper. So I found the notes and exchange books. Oh, okay. Hmm. Got us over. Evaluation assignment. You're being thoroughly exploited, and the jobs more like. Job. The more jobs like yours, the more dead one fragile our economy is. Well, jobs like mine too. It's not like I pay weapons better. What have I done? So now I'm on top of exams and homework. I have to worry about contributing to exploitation. Mm -hmm. You're doing fine. Maybe it's right, you know. Yeah. Sleepy Cherry, hugs, hugs. Sawyer, chill. It's not your fault. You're doing your best and you're still a student. Once you graduate, you can do whatever, you know? Sawyer sighs and the cat returns, jumping up next to them and staring curiously. Well, I'm gonna go. I have other work homework before my shift. See ya! Yeah, very late stream today. Soppy here. <laughs> Livia waves and skips the cat and neck scratch on our way out. Sawyer thoroughly pets the cat, frowning. It purrs softly. Uh -huh. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Nothing to do anyway. It's been like this for a while. Oh, hail hydrate and a stretch. Sure thing. There's the hydrate. And then... There we go. There's a stretch. Nothing new anyway. It's been like this for a while. 
I just have a big exam coming up and I don't feel ready for anything. But it's fine. I'm fine. I should just focus on the here and now. Which means here and now. I should probably stay, be brave and say... At least while my finger's fidgeting. I don't know if this is a date for you, but I... I like you. I really like you. <laughs> oh, they are a disaster. All finishes and moment is not that cool fun. Yeah, I'll be new. <laughs> Good point, Key. But I meant Mary. <laughs> Sorry. That goes back to sleep. So what do you think? Is it okay that I like you? Maybe a lot? Oh, well, okay. Isn't it really towards them and breath on their own lips? Wait! Not in front of the kitties! <laughs> the cat's tail twitches. You think maybe she rolled her eyes. Do lead you outside. They hesitate and their hand in yours. You can feel them trembling. As your lips brush theirs, you feel a jolt like an electric surge. Wow! Wow. Well, I'm glad I took a risk. This is what it looks like to enjoy the moment, huh? Spend the afternoon walking hand in hand, pausing for the occasional kiss. Eventually, you head home. I got an A at the assignment and can't stop thinking about you. Nice work. I'm pumped. Let's dunge. Woo woo. And let's let's go see Isaac. Well, hello. You seem to be getting a hang of parry, so today we'll try the repost. After a party, uh, parry, a repost lets you thrust in return. He glances at the door and then back at you. To you. Here, it's easier sir, for sure. Go ahead and attack me. Uh, attack left. Isaac deflects easily and uh, suddenly pokes his foil pokes you into your soldier shoulder. Since you held off, I need I need to extend my fervor to repost. See. A repost turns the attacker's energy back on upon mm -hmm. them. Isaac glances the clock. Here, I'll attack you. Harry then step forward and attack immediately. Alice. Isaac slowly attacks and you parry, then thrust, right. making a touch. That's a repost. You attack and you practice a few as a drill for practice as a drill for a few times. You sweating more than usual. I guess that's enough for today. I'd like to talk to you about something. He takes off his gear and pulls refreshments. <sighs> My father has finished a hostile takeover of my firm. He brought a full majority and discredited me with the board. So my time is just about over at Brooks Associates. I only have a day. I only have today and tomorrow. I try not to care what he thinks. He's foolish and close minded man. Oh dear. <gasps> I've officially disowned him and cut off contact. You are the cutes. But now I'm going to lose everything I built it because of him. How could I not care? Right. Be proud of what you're doing. Did. I know. I am proud. I promise. I tell myself that all the time. I'm really glad I talked to you. I'm sorry to burden you. Oh dear. Reduce charge time for heavy attacks. Why to finish your damage area? I guess it's the last person in the office. Last time person in the office. Tomorrow's my last day. I sold my stock. I'll be comfortable. While I sort out what to do next, it'd be like starting over. I've lost so much. Hmm. <laughs> I keep trying to focus on fencing, but it's not working. Maybe you should give up the, for the day. Mm. Or maybe, maybe I should make a house call for a, nucle for a uniquely talented fencing student like you. Why not tonight? Well, that's tempting. I don't want to get closer to you any way I can. Mm -mm. But your temptation might be too strong for me right now. I know I'm not in a great place emotionally right now, and I dream about uh. you. I need to know we're committed to each other before we can be intimate. Otherwise, I'll just regret it afterwards, and I don't want to regret anything with you. Understood. But don't worry, I promise I'm not trying to rush you. I'm just being clear about my requirements. Take your time and think about it. He leans in and gives you a long kiss. I suppose this is a good night. For now, thank you for your companionship. You head home. <laughs> yes. You are the big cute. I've been dreaming about you. What kind? You were healing broken weapons of all kinds. Me, too. It was lovely. You, you're a comfort to me. Even when I'm asleep. Thank you. Aww. 
3v1. We win. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go see Lake of Steel. At this point, you can only continue with a rank 6 weapon. You can no longer save the game. You want to continue? Yeah, sure. And we'll go with Valeria. Ooh, voice request. Anna is a big cutie. <laughs> there we go. Jesse leads you into the weapon shop. Whispering. There's a trap door here somewhere. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. There! He pulls a metal ring on the floor, exposing the staircase down into the darkness. Yeah, Looks like a but trap. it's one we're setting. Come on. You built all that confidence. Now it's time to use it. You've gone down plenty of stairs in the dunge. Just take a deep breath. Yes, Jesse leads the way, holding his phone in front of him as a flashlight. You take a deep breath and follow Jesse down. The air is oddly warm as it slivers around your feet. Hmm. So, this is Eric's private forge, huh? Not bad. Uh -huh. Weird. Yeah, that statue is something else. I wonder who it's supposed to be. I'm a bit warmed up. For some smishing, smithing. Meanwhile, you take Eric's for that you're here. Oh, then, oh, but then I'll be ready with, when Katana gets here. Well, why? It's obvious Katana has a mental emotional link with Eric. After you text him, Eric will fixate on you. And Katana will come here, I bet. At least I'm pretty sure. What do you think? You said you were ready? Bring up your phone, your... You'll think a horror is over the Eric's contact info hesitates. I'm in your forge. You type in a message and send Fen. Send. Your stomach feels tight and hot for a moment, but then ignores your passes. Thanks, cuz he just helped stop the monster. Now, I gotta get warmed up. Jesse starts stoking the fire. You sit and watch, facing the door. Just as Jesse starts getting a good heat burn, you see someone on the stairs. A quiet rustle. Katana slips in, eyes bright. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear me, Cherry, another voice request. I really can't wait for Jenbun to touch my hill. I'm just begging for that sexy embrace. <laughs> With a quiet rustle, Katana slips in, eyes bright. <laughs> Maybe. Whoa. Oh, hey there, uh, Masamune. I have an upgrade ready to give you. A blood groove would make you more, um, hmm. quick. Maybe, what would Eric want to be? Elegant. Uh -huh. Oh, man, you, would you, you would be much more elegant with a blood groove. Uh -huh. It's true, a groove to let the blood throw out when you stab someone is new technology. <laughs> Just come on over to the forge and I'll upgrade you. You hear another set of feet on the mm -hmm. stairs. Go with them, my firstborn. Get your upgrade, it's for the yes. best. <laughs> yes, Cherry is quite lewd. He really does have a will of his own, despite my best efforts. Mm. must have inherited some into it. And the metals he shares with your weapons. What shed metal? Like I told you, it was wrong, but I took pieces from the other weapons when I gathered materials. Mm. Wait, so you abducted my weapons and took bits from them to build this? Hmm. It's one way of putting it, but I want to fix it, really. Come on, Masami, don't you want a bit of hammering? We like old times. <sighs> All I want is me. Or death. Tana approaches you, his grin spreading. I confess, I did think it was a lot of battleground over there. Oh dear. What's happening here? Oh, it's me. Feels like we're coming apart. Oh dear. Let's see, I see. I think I see a piece of me growing out of him. Disgusting. Oh dear. Eric shot his stock and engine with the court forge in Katana. He's inherited my worst impulses. Nobody will be able to hurt him more than his own self loathing. Oh dear. You have to choose between your words carefully. Eric and Katana are physically, psychically linked. I can't say I blame them. I hate everything about myself too. How I look, 
how I talk, how I act. There's time left to improve. I think so. I want to believe there's a way. Somehow. Shana flinches and frights up as if he'd hurt him. Okay, so these balls are all attacking him. Thank God, go. Just gotta dodge the everything that's happening. Ah. Ah, no, 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 go away, go away. Don't worry, we hate you too, Herrick. Indeed. Defeat it! Forge Dunny a dunge. A new plush you can be found in your apartment. You... You did it! I hoped, uh, I mean, feared, that he was invincible. Don't you dare try to make a better one. No more weaponsmithing. Just chill out, okay? Chill? I'm already completely empty and hollow. Oh, I dear. can't be more chill but it's clear to me now what i should do what i must do go to therapy exactly i regret so many of my choices my relationship with weapons has been unhealthy where yours were all based on trust and intimacy mine were about power oh yes heavy <laughs> i need to talk to a professional before i hurt anyone else i need to learn how to love I'm not sure it's just a skill you can learn, but good luck. Eric nods, his self loathing cold in his face. You just got Eric out of the forge. Head upstairs. To the street. Mm. Goodbye, Mary. Jesse. Valeria. I hope you can earn your forgiveness. I can earn your forgiveness someday. Uh, bye, dude. Good luck, uh, getting help. Eric gives you a final bow and leaves. Eyes downcast. Mm. I'm sure you're both tired and exhausted. I'm exhausted and all I want did was watch. It's been a long night. Uh huh. Isn't it? Life, of course, exactly. I know you have a couple of days left in Verona Beach, so. Let's make some kind of plan to celebrate tomorrow after I get See some ya. sleep. Jess hugs you, Jesse hugs you and walks and wanders off to Elsie's house. We did it. You and me together. We faced your fears, plus made Verona Beach safe. Just in time for you to catch your flight home, it sounds like. Come with me. You know, I might just do that. This town is feeling stagnant. There is a familiar muffin stench in my studio again lately. After all, but I'll need a few days to get everything packed. Who knows? Maybe a mysterious mural will show up in your hometown. Huh? <laughs> He pulls you into a sudden tight hug, face buried in your neck. I'm not good at goodbyes. I don't know. If I act weird tomorrow, just ignore me. <laughs> she can't come with the issue and get through the scanners. <laughs> we'll only be apart for a little while. I have to believe that. See you tomorrow, I guess. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, but... Ugh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the unhauled luggage. <laughs> she stalks away, wiping her serif tips of tetetes at her eyes. Yeah, I can't say that word. You head home and pass into bed. In the morning, the sun rises like any other day. But this is your last day on for in Verona Beach. You don't have much to pack. Some clothes and a few keepsakes. And it takes a few minutes. It's all over. The thought of getting on a plane makes you... Conflicted. You take a deep breath, feeling this moment make take a root inside of you. Soon, as you. soon after, you finish packing. You hear a familiar knock at the door. Hey, cuz. I have a full day planned before your flight. Give me your luggage. Let's go. <laughs> you got called an accidental flirt yesterday. Ooh, fun, fun. 
Just don't worry about it, okay? Nowhere. Come on. Everyone's waiting. Put on this blindfold. He warmly jostles you out the door. You follow him downstairs, then across the street. You hear a familiar crashing of the waves against the sand and reach for your blindfold. Ta-da! Everyone's here, and we're ready to party in your honor. Oh, they got the cat's here. You spend the day swimming, chatting, and having fun together. As the sun starts to set, you realize your flight is going to leave soon. It's time to go. Jesse calls you a taxi and silence falls as each of your friends consider what to say. I wish we could have spent more time together. But I'm glad I met you. Keep on working on those dance moves. See you around. Ugh. But Aerie snuggles into you, breathing in your scent in deeply and sighing. Goodbye for now. Stay safe and watch out for ducks, okay? I guess this is it. Take care of yourself. I thought that smells shiny, you can't help but you saw <laughs> Giving them a long goodbye kiss. I hope you had a good summer. Maybe we'll see you again next year? Pocket stares at you thoughtfully, tilt twitching, then walks away down the beach. Are you okay? You can come back, you know, anytime you want. Thanks, Jesse. You're so welcome. Seriously. You know, when you arrived here, your mum and I were really worried about you. You got so nervous you could hardly talk and you didn't know how to meet people. Always afraid. Now look at you. You're the real you. I'm grateful to see that transformation. Thanks for all the memories, cuz. Give your mom a hug for me, okay? You get into the cat's taxi as the door shuts behind you. You realize you're already making plans to return. That was how you spent the summer at Verona Beach. The end. <laughs> Gotta pack things. Anyway, let's skip. <laughs> uh, basically, time with correctly, but yeah. Thank you for playing. So yeah, never go continue. Does this, where does this put me? Ah, it puts me right back before this. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, fun. That was a fun game. I may come back to it. But yeah. Fun, fun. <laughs> It was a fun game. I might come back to it and do some other dating. But yeah, I finished the story. Shall we, um, let's find someone to raid then, shall we? Because it is getting rather late. <laughs> Who is live for us to raid and pass on? Very late indeed. Uh... Let us see. No one really. Now oh, there's the thing, but you're bonking Anna. Oh gosh, bonk Anna indeed. She's gonna bonk us. <gasps> Let us. Ah, oh, there's being um No one is really live, is there? Um we'll go coffee coomer then. 
as you went think no one's life with anything interesting strong they're playing Crusader of Kings 3. I've tried to play that. I suck. So does Jen. We both suck. It confused us. Anyway. Um, I'll be back on San Sunday, not Saturday. Um, Saturday I am working. I've decided to move my Saturday streams, regular Saturday streams to Sunday now because I'll be working a lot on Saturdays. Um, anyway. I'll be playing Nier again. <laughs> More of the uh, Android Lady games. <laughs> we'll be next. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um. Other than that, I will see you then. Take care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.